What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Appreciating Comic Book Art Live. It is Tuesday night, I believe. It's Tuesday, isn't it, Sean? I'll go with that, yeah. yeah. Until tomorrow. You know what? Until well, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> until until about two hours from now, then it, yeah. then it will be Wednesday. That yes. is for sure. That is for sure. Uh, how are you guys doing today? We have a uh, uh, queen, uh, Kayla. <laughs> Kayla. Uh, now that's going me off. It's my death curse nickname. Mm. Just Kayla. Kayla. Okay, yeah. I looked down there. I was like, okay, that's <laughs> throwing me off there. <laughs> it's pretty hardcore. Uh, Welcome well, to the to show, Kayla. The this is the first time you've been on. I'm excited to have you here. I am psyched. And I can't wait to get to look at this book, especially because it's not one I've read. <laughs> yeah, it's brand new. Yeah. So this would be fun. This would be uh get some uh, new eyes on this book. So so Sean and I, you know, we grew up in this era. So mm -hmm. I've been on Kayla's show once. If anybody, well, anybody that's in this chat, you know, Sean and I grew up in the 90s. We're big into the 90s art. So a lot of the stuff we look at here is the 90s comics. And we're only and this, 30. And we're only 30 years old. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> just turned just turned 30 this turned year 30. yeah happy birthday September. happy yeah. birthday <laughs> <laughs> uh say hi to the chat real quick we got scotsman, hail, scotsman. scotsman. tv yes. he says big first that's right you are first Huge. hail brother good to see you. we got yeah. peter palamati in the house oh, peter? so i remember picking up a random that? issue of the 10th it's when i really started appreciating tony daniel's art for the first time mm. Mm. me too actually me too like he was all right on spawn <laughs> he was all right on spawn you know but there's something about the 10th that I really, really dug when, when it came out. We got Charles Revis in the house. What's up, Charles? Let me know what you think. I don't know what that link is. I can't see it in uh We're going to say it's awesome as of now. Yes. I'm going to assume whatever it is is absolutely awesome. It's fucking dope. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, okay. See? There it is. It's cool. It says, it's crazy cool, Charles. Well done. Mm -hmm. We'll have to check it out. We got Mark in the house. He's got to go to bed because it's been a long day. That I understand. That I understand. But I can't wait to watch this tomorrow. Well, thank you, brother, for stopping by for a second. We appreciate it. We got Jaro in the house. He says, morning, boys. Hail the chat. Haven't read or heard anyone talk about the 10th in years. This should be fun trip down memory lane. It's Me too. morning. And actually, I wasn't even planning on doing this tonight, but Sean had made a post. Made a he made a post early. Yeah, he made a tweet. Sorry. He made, made a tweet. tweet. Made a tweet <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> talking about, yeah, tweet. talking about the 10th. And I was like, you know what? That's, let's do that. Let's do that. And then he hit and me up, and I'm like, get out of my head. <laughs> we got tarks nine member of uh the superior court here on joe m santex youtube channel i appreciate it brother he says hail joe hail sean hail to you man we have lord crackhead in the house jeremy what's up by the way july 2nd i think is the date to be in his chat if you want to register for the the what's it called the greatest the great, motherfucking the, the prize of them all. biggest <laughs> giveaway in the history of all yeah. giveaways. Yeah. So you better be there, everybody. If I don't see you, I won't see you. Yeah, you Jeremy, do. drop a link to your drop a link to your channel so everybody just knows so we can get people there because you don't want to miss it, guys. This is a prize, a giveaway unlike any other. There's like over ten thousand dollars worth of prizes they're gonna be giving away. Uh and, and the number one that's going is that Roka Fort. That Roka I was thinking Fort. that's like about seven. <laughs> right yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoever wins number one spot that's going in yeah. two seconds i guarantee yeah. it but there's some oh, there's sure. some awesome stuff that you can win in there so everybody tune in july 2nd and remember you have to be in the chat for the actual mm -hmm. night i think it's july 8th the following 9th? saturday yeah whatever following saturday is you have to actually be in the chat to win we have uh zach fernandez in the house he says hail the chat hail to you brother thank hail you for joining you. us tonight good to see you we got ntm no. comics noah in the house he says hail the chat Oh, He's man, a gangster. You Have you, you this kid is, is grown up and I'm so proud of him. He is I know he's only like 13 years old. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh Wiley J draws hail. Hail Black Sabbath. Yes. Hail. Yes. My favorite intro. Love it. Love it. Uh is this live? Hmm. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, is anything live? Are, are we live? Are we live right now? In another dimension, possibly. I know that is that is the I ultimate question. Like That's almost as important of a question as why, <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> oh, the chat jumped on me. Let me get back up. Shoot, where was I at? Damn it. Oh, I don't want to skip anybody here. Okay, that was Jasper. We got oh, we got booty juice in the house, Mr. Dan Dahl. Booty, booty, booty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, it. Phenomenal Dude, artist. Level. Absolutely yeah. phenomenal artist. Phenomenal artist. We have some great artists that join us in the chat here on this mm -hmm. show. We got uh um Ja Rose, a fantastic artist. Uh Chauncey when he jumps in here, Noah. Oh, yeah. Chauncey's great. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's crazy. Uh Peter, 
a legend, yep, anchor, artist. Who gave me my start, <laughs> technically, on a technicality. Right. Almost right. 23 years in the business on a technicality. Matt, hail Matt Larock. He says, hail, folks. Hail to you, brother. Good to see you. We got Phoenix Animation in the house. Hey, everyone. We'll catch the replay. Got to bounce. Love you all. Hetero a questionability. Hmm. I like it. We ain't questioning that. I'm like taking it. the love. Yeah, yeah. Either. I'll take it all. Take it all. <laughs> By the way, I will be hooking up with Phoenix next week down in Chicago for the Fan Expo. We're going to be okay. not not in that way. Not in that I was way. Judge. Just in, in a you know, 2022. Platonic yeah. kind of way. Do whatever you, know. you want, baby. We were down at the, the Chicago Fan Expo. Uh, I was sharing a table with him and Phil Diaz. So what? you guys are oh, in wow. the area. Come the out and see Diaz us. Fucking Diaz brothers? The the fucking Diaz thread. brothers. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm going to probably do some sketches selling some uh, leftover ash cans that I have. Hail crazy. We have crazy mad in the house. Hail crazy mad. Good to see <laughs> who you. Day? Who day? Who day? All right. I think we... Oh, chat jumped again. Let's see. I think we can down to the bottom here. We can start the show. Let's see. Jay Lee. Mr. Jay Lee in the house, as always. Good to see you, brother. He says, hi, everyone. Uh, I think that's it. I <clears throat> just got back from Michigan. My mom had a ton of 90s books I took home. Also, a Batman Adventures number 12. Nice. That's awesome. That's man. a nice home. That's awesome. Hope you enjoyed the weather up here while you were here. It was very hot. Very hot. Uh, that's why. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Snake Hail the chat. Dog. Snake Dog. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Sibling Vaughn just jumped in. Okay. What's up, I think we had everybody. All right. So. We're looking at Tony Daniels, uh, first creator owned property that I know of in Image. Like, this was coming right off of his run on Spawn when he kind of split duties with Greg Apulo there for a while when they're trying to get to issue 50, I believe. Yes. And I think they were doing like two a month. Yeah. So, every other issue was Greg, then there was Dan or Tony. And uh, those were good. Those were good. I just compared to Greg's art and then go to Tony's art on Spawn, just didn't do it for me. Cartoony, uh, animated, different exactly. vibes for a darker, grittier That's feel that Greg brought you. But so yeah, cool. way, way different vibe. It, it wasn't, it wasn't, it, yeah, I wasn't digging it. But, but the tenth hit the, the shelf. Yes. And everything changed. Game everything game. changed. I mean, it's a fantastic looking character, awesome book. I thought he did some great work. He worked, oh, let's see what the guys he worked with here. But I know Marlo Inc. cover. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was an inker. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to jump into this book. Uh, hopefully my camera holds up here, guys. You know, I've been having camera issues, so the focus may go in and out. Uh, I'm working on getting a new camera here once I get some more money rolling. We'll I hope so. Goes. You got almost a 40K fucking <sighs> Indiegogo. <laughs> Somebody said that to me the other day, too. They're, they they asked me if I if I was going to back like a certain campaign we were talking about. I was like, well, I'd like to. I was like, I got to wait till I get some money. And they're like, what are you talking about, money bags? And I was like, hey. <laughs> That money like, isn't I, mine. That money's like, not mine. I feel like people never understand that that half of the money that you make, or more than right. half, all is going to go back into the campaign. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just going to say. I yeah, know. I was like, it looks good. It looks good on paper, but yeah, like that is no means in in my <laughs> bank account. So, yeah. uh, is like that the that. comics? And uh, wait, is that the comics in Cleve Chick? Yes, uh, it's me. Yes. Uh, me live in the flesh. Oh, come, okay, <laughs> oh really? right. coming out of coming out of sickness. <laughs> okay, all right, that makes a little. I thought you. Was, I thought you were talking about something within the art. Yeah, I'm like, wait like, a minute, like the cover. Yeah, we're getting to. Yeah, that. I'm, <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure there's some cleave in there. I mean, definitely yeah. the the other cover you showed was. Yeah, there will there definitely will beautiful. be some. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Zach Fernandez said, "Creech three's coming." Yes, it absolutely it is. is. I can't wait for that. We have a we have a great it's a great time right now. Uh, regardless of what's going on here in like comics here to the indie scenes, some of the guys from the '90s are bringing back their old properties. Uh, mm -hmm. Greg Vulo being one, bringing back Creech. Yep, I cannot wait for that book to drop. Uh, I'm very yeah. excited for that. I I would love to see Tony Daniel come back and do another run on the tenth. I don't know if it will ever happen, but it would be cool if it did. You know, he liked Mike's comment from my thread, but didn't like my tweet. That's kind son of a offended. bitch. The so we're gonna switch me. this to the Creech part two. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, throw this out. <laughs> Going back, talking about the Creech again. Uh, which by the way, if you guys missed that, we did do a stream like a couple weeks ago or last month about the Creech. I highly recommend going back and checking that out because we looked at every single page of all six issues that were done. So mm -hmm. check that out. Jasper Plan 9 said, uh, you should pre-sell uh certificates to Reaper Destroyer at the con. Tyler Kirkham Kirkham. Was doing that with Final Boss at MegaCon last year. Hmm, interesting. I might have, that might be out of my mm. my. Uh, mm, it's a fan expo con though. 
when you've worked a ton of cons, yeah, know. You'll, know. you'll you'll get it, guys. Once you work them. <laughs> Hail, Phil. Good to Lobo, see you, brother. Lobo, Lobo. Oh, what is up, oh, Phil? Geez. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. So it'll be fun. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just basically taking down extra copies to see if I can just sell any. But basically, I'm just going. Honestly, I'm going down to see Mark Silvestri. That's the goal. Yeah. He's going to be there. I'm going <laughs> down to get in line. Yeah, not Steve anybody else. I'm, I'm not going down to see Mark Silvestri and get in line. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and just see yeah, if yeah. I can you know, just shake his hand or give him a fist bump or whatever we're doing nowadays. Maybe get a picture. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Get uh, Hail 80 made, 80 made consumer. Um, Scott's, Scott's from TV for $2. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Uh, so excited for this. I was the background inker. Oh, that's awesome. That I was talking, yeah, I've been talking to him a little bit on Twitter. He did say that he worked or was assistant with Mar Marlo for a number of years. So that's oh, okay. awesome. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. yeah, that is awesome. That's sick. You'll have to did point you, out in the chat when we get to some pages that you absolutely remember you doing. That'd be awesome. Did you ink any of Carl's work? Because I know Marlo mm. and Carl were All, all stutter? Yes, yeah, that's my dude. Uh, Dan, Dan Dahl says Marat has blindsided in the works too. Yeah, yeah he does. It's been coming for a while. I hope that actually comes out at some point. Us too. Is Tony is tied up with there, Noctura. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I kind of stopped reading that. I don't know how long that's going to last, which, you know, whatever. It, it, it could still happen. It's not going to happen <laughs> this year, but it definitely could happen. <laughs> Gayla hates Fan Expo. <laughs> Phil <Confirmed>. definitely knows. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Phil said I'll be sharing a table with Joe. Uh, I don't know if he knows that yet. I do know. I do. I'm excited, man. It'd be you and me <laughs> and Phoenix all at, at one table together, just chilling Are for an entire week. Bucket trick. It's gonna be a yeah. Party. Oh, definitely, definitely. Nice. That, that's definitely gonna happen. Uh, where's the tenth number one with the AT cover? Yeah, I was actually oh, gonna say that. I can't find my tenth number one. It's right before <laughs> two. No, but uh, like seriously, like I have no idea. I did a video on the tenth number one just like a uh, like last year, just like a. 10 minute video before i started doing these live shows and i have no idea where the hell i put it i've been looking all over for it today so we're just gonna skip to number two uh sorry about that guys i let everybody down i know oh got a great story on mark back in 94 was back in the u.s uh met mark and he signed a ton of stuff for me back then that's awesome nice. i'm hoping to meet him yeah, smash that like, please, please, guys. Also, we do have uh, memberships on this channel now. If you guys want to become a member of the Superior Court, which is what I call it, uh, we do. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be in here if that's if that's what. I'm yeah, these nerds. <laughs> That is nothing to do with political. Nothing to do with political. <laughs> I actually came up with that before any of that stuff went down, which we don't talk politics on the show, by the way, guys. Just everybody knows we stay away from that stuff. Does Kayla have a YouTube? She does. She does. Yes. I'm with Jeff Curse. So if you are aware of who Jeff Elkins is and Spencer Desmond and Ryan Wynn, we are all a part of Death Curse. Death Curse is run by Spencer. I'm their editor. <laughs> Spencer's editor mainly. <laughs> um, so yes, we have a channel. It's a Death Curse channel, and I stream either on Wednesdays or uh, Thursdays with my segment Kayla Cuts Deep, where I just yeah, interview great people. show. I had a lot of fun on it when I was there. I highly I recommend people check that out. Drop links in the chat if we have mods. Yeah, I'm we do have some mods in here. Somebody Jeremy might be in here. Yeah, definitely drop some. I have no idea what the hell that is. Oh, JMS Hale, JMS Fear, JMS. Appreciating comic book art, Jameis P. Pack. Okay, <laughs> I got I it. I, I got couldn't it. even have read that. Like you're dyslexia like... set in for a second, but then I figured it out. <laughs> figured it out. Uh, what's Sean's handle on Instagram? Sean Aaron. Uh, just follow go. that at Sean Aaron. Pretty, pretty simple. Twitter, pretty simple. Instagram, YouTube. We'll say the others. Facebook. Sign up for Type One. Sign up for Type <laughs> One. Slide <laughs> my DMs for the Marat Michaels variant cover. I got four copies left. After that, no more. Donated the original art to JDRF Illinois so we can raise some money for some kids to buy some insulin in December. Spend that that's money. Right. Tax Very important. Oh, really? Very important. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't Thank see you. that. I mean, I've been really off the Twitter world for the past couple I weeks, suck at so. Twitter. <laughs> Joe's like, you got to get back on Twitter. I'm like, I'm working on me. It's true. It's yeah. true. It's like where everybody's at for the crowdfunding stuff. You know, <laughs> it's, really, it's really, you know, like if you're going to be promoting your campaign, Twitter's the place to do it. I do good. Like, I hardly get any hits off of Facebook. Twitter is where I primarily get all my uh, all my contacts. 
Uh, so this is the 10th, number two. I do not have number one. It's here somewhere, but I have no idea where it's at. So we're just going to start with number two here. But this was a, a one, an awesome character. Uh, just a very, you know, pit-like kind yeah. of character. That's probably what I liked about it. You know, it's not mm-hmm. a rip-off. It's just, you know, the, the big muscle, big Monsters. teeth, big claws kind of guy. You, you know, got some chains it. and everything, you know. Uh, sold. Sold right off the bat right there. So this is issue two. Just awesome looking. This I dig it. So let's jump into here. Jump into here. Let's jump into. And I'm gonna work on this as we go. This fucking camera. Punch it. And drive me insane. Oh, I, I <laughs> do would the love to punch thing. it. <laughs> do the Massachusetts thing. Just bam. I would love to punch this camera. <laughs> How do you like them apples? <laughs> as soon as I buy a new camera, this one is I'm drop kicking it into the trash. That's what's happening. Uh, I just pulled my shoulder. Jeff says, what the fuck? Uh, Joe can't read my sentences in order, but he heads, he reads that line of acronyms. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it, guys. I'm dyslexic. Sometimes things come through and I can actually read it. Uh, can Ahmad put a link in the chat for the channels? I think I'm spelling something wrong. Uh, should be. Oh, um, let me. S- Do I have to find it? You know who? There we go. I think that's oh, it. Right. I mean, I yeah, hope that's, that's, that's our. That's I hope that's our death <clears throat> first. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Anyway, thank you, Jeremy. Thank Appreciate you, Jeremy. it, brother. Uh, gonna take it back to that cam like office space and the printer scene. Yeah, it's gonna happen, man. It's absolutely gonna happen. I'm so so ticked off. This worked great for like a little bit, and then it's just been nothing but a headache ever since then. Not worth the money I paid to get it. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly, Gyro. It's it's going down. It's going down. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let me see. This. I mean, it's better than my camera. I don't even have an- another camera. <laughs> like the worst well, the, woman ever. The, <laughs> <laughs> the thing that sucks is, I mean, this this camera I use, I, I bought it so I could draw, you know, and do streams and all that kind of shit, and it just it worked How's great for. Well, I haven't done it in a while because this thing doesn't focus. I'll try to draw, and it just goes right right out of focus. Pay the black. Yes. Stupid. All right. This one. You know what? <laughs> I had, though, a, I had it all focused before. I just yeah, I but, love the color on it. I mean, I know it's not super focused, books, but the color yeah. is beautiful. Who's the colorist uh, on this? Is that our guy? Uh, Paul it's Mouse. not focused, so I can't see. I'm like, I'm like, if I go like <laughs> this into the camera, is that gonna make me see better? <laughs> Paul Mounts in Bogotan <laughs> is what it says. Oh. Bogotan, Florida. Bogotan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Here. All right, there we go. Oh, no, nope. oh. I had it for a second. Oh, there we go. Right, right. Oh. oh, this is so stupid. I'm going to absolutely, I love these absolutely panels. kill somebody. I yeah. love these panels. That's it. That's it right there. We there we go. <laughs> Look at the perspective of the panels and everything, how that's laid out. And with the mm-hmm. in the background, that is awesome. Yes, there's one thing I loved about this book. And again, a lot of things that I loved about the 90s books is there was just a lot of experimenting when it came to panel layout. Yeah. And really kind of like there were no rules as long as you can tell what's going on. And as long as you can read, you have the reader actually. Read. There we go. Maybe I just hold it a little bit closer. Be, be able to navigate through the page. As long as you can do that, I mean, you could do so many different panel layouts. This is just incredible. A lot of information. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's so sick. Mm-hmm. I have access to these books, too. Why am I not reading them? Why didn't I read right? them? Dude, when this first came out, like, I read the 10th quite a bit. Like, I was mm-hmm. heavily inspired by Tony Daniel for, for a little bit when this first came out. Um, when in especially the 90s? with 97? Oh, the... 97? Okay, so I was about yeah. seven, eight years old, depending on the time of oh, the year. I was, like... <laughs> I was like deep into my X Men phase. There you and go. My, my Catwoman phase, I think. Yeah. Too. There we go. Yeah, I'll just give you zoomed up pages, and we'll go through it like this. So, but um, this is very cool. It was this was like part like Spawn, you know, part uh, maybe the Creech, maybe the Pit. You know, it's a combination of a yeah. different kind of feel. But like, I loved what Tony Daniel did with this work. Uh, his art style in this particular series, he actually went a little bit like uh, more anime 
towards more the end like of, yeah manga when he got into the, the next mini series mm-hmm. yeah this was still i mean he did a lot of experimenting he's done a lot of different stuff with his style over the years the style he's doing now is much more uh like DC Jim Lee. house style. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, a version of Jim Lee that he's doing it's now. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. Which is fine. Yeah, I mean, he's a really good artist. He's a yeah, fantastic artist. But there was yeah. something about like this old stuff that really, really dug. It's just the dynamic aspect it's of raw, it. Raw, there you energy, go. Energy, you know, just just power, just fucking fierce. Hey Sean, awesome. I'm gonna have to have you handle the chat so since I'm gonna have yeah. All right, where are we going? It's gonna be All a full time right. job just holding this comic up, trying to get it to yeah. focus. Duct tape. All right. Ooh, duct tape. You. I'm Still. telling you, duct tape. Five hours left for CG vacation. Five. Oh, shit. Such 90s art. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love it. Love I it. I love it. Beautiful. Jasper's going to fuck with you. Great face right there. I love, too, how the... um. Why what? can't I think? Why can't I think tonight? Mic- I was going to say how the words change within the panels, but <laughs> the letters. <laughs> <laughs> like how the letter. We got changed. Rick in the house. Hey, Rick, we'll see you in a few. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the panel, the, the layouts, everything about this is really extreme. Really Colors not are great. traditional. Yeah. V- very advanced. Very advanced. And this at the time yeah. was oh. the, 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 the cutting edge of color. So great timing, Kyle comics the twisted three i forgot about them and actually so this old dude this was actually one of my inspirations for my character uh victor and reaper destroyer not necessarily like this mm. old decrepit guy but i really like the idea of having a character like this in my book and it kind of came from the 10th inspired oh the inside i did those panels I did those panel borders with a mix of uh, rapidograph and, and fat sharpie. Really? Really? Nice. Let's get up here. Let's get a close look. Hell yeah, man. That's I awesome. I love her Rick body Rick proportions. Rick. Oh, yeah. They even got the 90 sun tattoo around the belly button. <laughs> so Hell I. yeah. I got the same one. You do? Prove yeah. it. Yeah, show it yeah. off with yeah. your belly button ring as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Send Joe a hundred dollars super chat and I'll share it with everyone. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ooh, legs. Ooh. legs Rick, it's bum. just Joe M Sontag at gmail.com. That's all this. See, I'm a big eye person and I love mm-hmm. the eyes on. Yeah, them. the eyes are great. A little bit of the Michael control. Turner feel. Yes. Yes. It was the big kind of you know, J. Scott Campbell Disney eyes going on here. Mm-hmm. Tribal tats, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Highlights on the lips to make the lips look a lot fuller. He was definitely a bum person because all these yeah. asses on these women look amazing. <laughs> yeah, he he's got a lot of booty <laughs> shots in this book. Yeah, for sure. And he does them great. He does them great. Oh, I love this. Let me get your that is sick. Focus back up. Focus. Focus, Joey. Son. Come on. And the pages work we so go. well together too. <laughs> yeah. Sean and Dave Batista. Yeah, I love this pose. I feel like he, <laughs> I feel like what I like about this book is you can see a little bit of a uh, Capullo isms in this book as well. Mm-hmm. I feel like maybe his time working at Todd McFarlane Studios or whatever, he kind of picked up a little bit maybe as well from Capullo when it comes to, I mean, this kind of face. I mean, this just reminds me a lot of Capullo. Right. Oh, definitely. Specifically, yeah. you know, it's a little bit more cartoony, you know, just a little bit more exaggerated. But fits within what they're doing. It's just great storytelling in this book. And the detail, the nitty gritty of it. It's yeah. not just cartoony. Like again, it's rough and raw. Like oh, everything about this. Thank you for the, reading my mind, Joe. The exaggeration with well, the jaw there on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is crazy. And like obviously, visual? it looks it looks crazy, but it also has that element where it kind of just it works. It looks right. You know, oh, yeah. like you just kind of accept it when you see it. Like yeah, it's exaggerated. Like. Crazy exaggerated, but you know, you can't accept it. Amazing, it looks awesome. Though. It works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Gyro says those teeth are really Capullo esque. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can, I feel like you can see a lot of Capullo influence in the 10th, or at least the first uh, four issues of the, the miniseries before he kind of went more manga anime going forward. Yeah, we'll do it right now. He didn't like the tweet that I tweeted about him. How's that going to go? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hit him up. Tell him to come <laughs> oh on. <my> God. Maybe <laughs> he didn't catch the tweet. Maybe he just caught the comments. 
I'm not taking his excuses. <laughs> I actually, I talked, I talked to, uh, I talked to Tony last year and tried to get him on the show, and uh, we talked back and forth for a little bit, but uh, he just was not doing like podcasts, is what he said. And I was like, that's cool, no problem. So this, that's awesome. Is, this almost is like, um, like Bane esque in a way. It's like. How can I explain it? There's a particular Batman book, and I think it's probably one of the ones he worked on. I mean, it could be, yeah. No, yeah, nowadays, like the more modern stuff they worked on. Yeah. You know what's interesting? Hail Jonas. Good to see you, brother. Uh, hello, all. You have tried to close down the autofocus. Uh, here's the problem. So the app that I have or the, the whatever is on the computer that go along with this no longer works with the camera. I can make all the adjustments I can. I used to be able to make, and it no longer focuses. I used to be able to turn off the autofocus, and that worked perfectly. And now this just it's stuck. I have no idea what it is. I've I've uh, re-downloaded it, done everything I can think of. I took this thing apart by hand. Uh, you mess around with the lens. Speaking of booty shots, there we go. Ooh. Yeah. As a as a young teenage boy, I love this book. As a 40-year-old man, I love this book. I love this book. <laughs> yeah, that is that is crazy. That's the Kelly 90s Jones round did booty. Do. Yeah, I'm very familiar with Kelly Jones. I'm a big yeah. fan of his. I yeah. love Kelly Jones. This is <laughs> here, 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 here's Phil with, with his young, ripe age of 27. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> terrible. Do I have to sue on behalf of Daryl? It's like, it's like Creech, Pitt, and this book all look like yeah, the same, they yeah. fall within the same kind of category. It's all in, it's all within the, you know a certain amount of years of each other. This was like yeah. four years before or after Pitt came out. So like this yeah. is very much a Pitt style character, along with like the Creech. A little bit, of you know, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Why is that not focusing? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know how Dale feels about this. It would be interesting. Interested to know what Shots! he thinks about shots <laughs> phil <laughs> phil uh i love dale why isn't this focusing son of a bitch just the colors on this are amazing this i love awesome the colors pose. i want to see this is there a Come good on. boot tread on that that's what i'm trying to see is there a boot tread on that foot like <laughs> no it's more like a foot popping out there we go the put the foot popping out. Oh, of the okay. Boot. I was like, I thought it was a half a boot tread. Now that it's focused, oh. I can see. There we go. And one thing I noticed about uh, the tenth, re just flipping through these again for the first time, he really draws the tenth different, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like he he changes quite a bit, and I can't remember if that's part of the story or not. Again, look at the panels. Let me pull back here. It's going to go out of focus, but I just love the setup of those panels. Maybe he was just it, finding the character as, as he as he went on. Yeah, I mean, that could be. I mean, I'm kind of doing the same thing with Reaper Destroyer. I mean, there's, I draw him slightly different. Uh, another another silhouette booty shot there. I mean, come on now. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> oh, I would love to have Kelly Jones on. That'd be awesome. Yeah, some cool characters in this book too, though. I love that Chicks whole design. And monsters. <laughs> what was this? Book? Fuck! It's been so long since I read this book, and honestly, I didn't read these books to like read the story. I got these books for the art, yeah. and just geeked out on the art. So honestly, I can't remember what the hell this book is about. A monster and a girl. I feel like I I should Google it. Thank to you, Run down because I haven't read it, so I can't give it. <laughs> I can't get. I actually can't give a answer on this. All right, yeah, it, what is it's this? like well, Beauty and the Beast of the 90s. It, it, and if you guys know this show, you know we, we talk primarily about art. We don't really cover we, stories. We here. can't read. <laughs> like the books we buy, we can't read anyway. That's why it's called Appreciating Comic Book Art. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these came out around yeah. the same time, yeah. Yeah, look at that. But, you know, it's a, it's a guy that turns into a monster, you know, kind of like the Hulk. You know, his transformations and stuff. Uh, this chick's got some kind of powers. <laughs> I love Jasper. <laughs> the story isn't that great. Enjoy. See, I, can't read the story anymore. isn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might not be. I Hail mean, it Chris. might not be. You know, like, what? Hail Chris. Good to see you, no. brother. It basically yeah, says, really. big monsters, oh, yeah, beautiful woman, and bad guys. 
Yeah, that's, that's pretty what, much that's, all you need. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, that's, that's a great what synopsis says pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> if I had to put it in short, it, I mean, it really kind of it, it feels like an anime a little bit, you know, like a kind of like a manga s character. Oh, it's very anime manga or whatever yeah. you pronounce it. I mean, oh, was awesome. he younger than everyone? Yeah. Oh yeah. Talking. Yeah. Okay. He was. So he was clearly was very inspired from a yeah, lot he was of the quite other a artists younger. that he was around. Yeah, because yeah, he was. He, 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 yeah, he was in his twenties at least. When I think he just every, got out of high school and he did elementals. Like, yeah, he was. He was a young kid. He was a young dude, for yeah. sure. Uh, what a miss here. Can't spell. That's all right. I can't spell either. So much reading and writing. Yeah. Matt Hep, hell Matt, he says it's hard to figure out a character, especially if it didn't have the them nailed down from the start. And I would say a lot of these creators probably worked on the story as they went, you know, because there was probably a decent amount of money to be made still, even in 97, with your own creator own property. You know, just put a book out there, especially with the image kickback that you were getting, you're still probably yeah. getting a decent amount of money per sales. So it did I mean great in Germany. Yeah, I mean, you're still just going off the <laughs> art here. No, in the interview, yeah, Jim really... kept going on. He's like, it would take great in Germany. And Jim's like, why do you keep bringing that up? And he's like, because it did. Hey, you got to take wherever it's great, that it does great at, you praise that, you know? Yeah. There when I was in a band, <laughs> dude, when I was in a band, there, there's the first there's the first uh, shot of that. But when I was a band, in a band, we were we were uh, more popular in places like Indiana, Indiana and uh, Oklahoma than we were in our home state of Michigan at first. And I used to be like, hurt. fuck yeah, we took it. Oh, <laughs> the scene in Michigan sucked. Oh, okay. It absolutely sucked. This is beautiful art, guys. <clears throat> this is absolutely gorgeous art. Paul yeah, Essenson, yeah. hail brother. A lot of the uh, proportions remind me of Joe Mad. He was really heavily influenced by manga too, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. See. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. This was right around the time where Mad would have been blowing up too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that influence would definitely have been felt. I mean, you saw a lot of artists kind of, you know, jumping into that a little bit and, and putting that into their art. But this was just, man, I'm sorry I'm just hanging on this cover for so long. But, like, everything so about this awesome. cover is great. Like, the, the colors are amazing. They just it's work so, so well. 90s. Like, this is 90s. Yeah, everything just pops so well. Like, that purple and the green yeah. and the blues there. The gold uh, 10th logo. Uh, He was more of a tap and jazz type of dude. You know, like, show his fingers. <laughs> lower toast uh, i was uh i was in a heavy metal band called mine enemies fall you can go check them out on youtube mine that is enemies fall absolutely gorgeous beautiful yes yes i mean he really does women's bodies proportions really well i think yeah the, he does like a very good slim body type that is mm -hmm. curvy but muscular at the same time because if you look at her arms and shoulders she's good, like rounded shoulders, shoulders yeah. yes very pronounced, long legs, good eyes. Hip there. dip, nice eyes. Nice, nice eye eyes. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, this is probably some of my. Yep. No, this is my favorite Tony Daniel work. And a lot of times, my favorite artists, the the stuff I like of them the most are their earlier work. You, when they're you, still kind of right, when they, they evolve inspired. too much, yeah. yeah, and they're they're just kind of just throwing stuff at the wall, just whatever inspired them at the time is what they were drawing. Kind of like us, uh, hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You're hungry. Mm -hmm. You can feel the raw hunger in the artwork. <laughs> I, you know, I subconsciously I do remember all the booty shots in this, but I forgot like how like, many. There are so <laughs> many, much, but at least he draws. At books. least he draws like a really good butt. Like might have been the reason why butts. I like this book so much. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. He does. Yeah, draws a great ass. I don't blame him. Yeah. I mean, we get a tree here. Is that a tree woman? Like, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't even. I'm know. like, what is going on here? <laughs> you got that hat, the character with the hat that's actually pretty badass. So I don't know what what he is. Wild, yeah, just wild, bizarre characters that will come out of left field. But he made it work. Uh, you know, it fits yeah. the story. That's yeah. why I was saying, like, it, it reminds me of like anime or manga or something yeah, like, you know, like yeah. freaking uh, Death Note or shit like that. You know, just wild looking character designs. And now he's got rockets on his back. Like, that's awesome. Where'd they come from? Who cares? They look cool. Oh, yeah. This 90s. book is straight 90s. You know, it's yeah. just like, whatever was cool, let's do it. You know, he's a big hulking <laughs> character with, with claws and shit. And, but he's got like, like, let's put a bunch of guns on him. Why not? 
<laughs> Why not? Yeah, I just love the panel workout or the panel yeah. layout in this uh in his early run it. here. I homage it. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, dude, this, this is what I love about comics. <laughs> that's absolutely what I love about the 90s books. They're fun to look at. Oh, that's that oh, is badass. Oh, that I need is this to focus. An awesome action yes. shot. That's very pit inspired. I'll say that. Like that reminds me of like a Dale Keown. That does. <laughs> that we shot. Dale Keown. <laughs> He's yeah, all this plugged up. Yeah, all plugged up. Yeah, this absolutely reminds me of like pit and influence. You know, that, that's what's cool. I loved about the 90s is guys influenced each other. Yeah. You know, you saw what your peers were doing. There was, you know, like the competition or just the, you wanted to up your game or you saw something that somebody else did that looked great and you wanted to kind of put that in your book. Not swiping, but just, you know, very much inspired. Huh. I dig it. Yeah, yeah. I dig all it. All about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Survive it. Infinity 0088 says, I'm all plugged up now. I'll be right back. Hail Astro hey, Zombie. Astro Good Zombie. to see you, brother. I'm going to be trying to hit the post office tomorrow Ooh, to get your book out. So I'll let you know if I do. What was cool about this character is so uh, traditionally in, in big characters like this, you don't see them put into these like Spider Man like nah, poses. No. But Tony Daniel definitely went for the weird extreme poses with a big character, which kind of made this unique to. I mean, Dale did that a little bit with Pitt too. I mean, there were some interesting poses in his fighting style, but. This is, I mean, that's just like a straight up Spider Man kind of. Not as extreme in the gesture. Even the fingertips, yeah. too. If you look at how he does the fingertips, like very thin yeah. and claw like. They're not really big and bulky. Like, it's very different. It's more like Aculine, I would say. Sketch 51 says big muscles, guns, and boobs. Welcome to the 90s. Yeah, that's why they were so good, man. That's why I miss them. Need Just back. wait till the end of next year when Shane Alex I unleash Curse of the Bathory 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 to Bathory 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 cat like feline pose at the same time even though that cat <laughs> is there enlarged if you like these are yeah. just little things that i notice <laughs> i like it style yeah i like it i like it she looks very feline with that cat mm. being giant next to her well up forward it's killer killer what character that? design here if i can i think this is kill crow or yeah kill crow is, I think. is yeah. it kill crow yeah i love drawing that guy yeah yeah i just so love fun. it Again, very Capullo, very McFarlane like with the uh, lower body style, you know. Mm -hmm. Just an uh, animated gesture. Yeah. I love those circle panels. Yeah. I have no idea why you use them, but they just look cool. Does you it know, like, why? It just well, looks cool. Like, <laughs> it literally looks like he's peering in. Mm. Oh, maybe that could be. Maybe he's looking like in a, in a crystal ball or something. <laughs> I, I mean, know. who knows? It just it, <laughs> it works. Oh yeah, so awesome! Curse of the bathtub gin. What? Curse of the There's... bathtub gin. <laughs> Curse. Bathroom. Okay. Curse of the bathroom. Curse of the John. <laughs> uh, Stippling Fawn said the significance is we're seeing them prior to the re. Thank you. Prior to them. Uh, well, I got to find my place in the refined style they have today. Proof we are all always growing up and getting better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. And and again, I mean, these guys they evolve and they become better artists. And you know, like I said, I like Tony's work now. The stuff he's doing for DC just absolutely kills. But there was just you know something about this stuff that I, I just dig. <laughs> Reaper Story needs more cats. <laughs> I'll work on it. I'll work on it. No, the booty shot if we can get to it. Oh, look at Maybe that. that's just a way to go. You know, yeah, just start... he knew he was ahead of his time. Yeah. yeah. Just start drawing women all from just one angle all the time. <laughs> I like that panel layout too. That's cool. You see him changing a mm -hmm. hulkish. Love that. It is it is kind of hulkish there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like this character was more hulk than anything because he could he was a human that would transform. Did anybody read uh, 
was that book he did for DC that was kind of like this? It was it was their Hulk. It came out like four years ago Rampage. or something. Not Rampage. Was it Rampage? No, no, because that's a video game. No. Well, it was a previous character that that they just took the name from. Oh, was it a previous character? Okay, I thought it was one. I, I don't think it was Rampage. It, well, it's a new character, but it was a 90s character originally. Peanut Butter and Jelly. What was it? We got Henry in the house, which I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because I always fuck it up. So, hail Henry. Good to see you. We got Jordan. Uh, damage. Yeah, it was damage. Damage. Thank you. Thank you. That's what it was. Black's nerds. We got Jordan Hurst <laughs> Her- in the house. Like, Curse of the Porter John. Yeah. yeah. Henry says, uh, looks very McFarlane ish. Yeah. I mean, he definitely came from the you know, McFarlane studios when he was working on Spawn, you know, probably very heavily influenced by Capullo as well. Wait, Joe, Joe, they, I think, I think they, you think it's damage? I think it's damage. I don't know. Yep. It it's might be Joe, Joe Ball. It is Joe but Ball. There you go. They might be Joe onto Ball? something. They might be onto something. <laughs> All right, focus. Is that like a diamond shaped panel on the right? I mean, I can, I'm trying to squint my eyes like I can focus the screen by squinting my eyes. Yeah, it's kind of got like a diamond. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Oh, Joe Ball's in the hizzy. There we go. Hail oh, Joe Ball. Good to see you, brother. Thank you for being here. We got the green laser in the house also. Yeah. He says damage. <laughs> it might be damage. Thank it you, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> These nerds awesome. in there, Google. Whatever it was, it didn't sell because I don't remember getting it at the shop. Sure. <laughs> he was on it for like three issues. Three like, issues, and then he jumped off. I actually got yeah. the three issues he was on. It was good. And it, it, was, it was all right. It was drawn well. It was drawn oh, well. Oh, is it's this drawn well? uh, who was bringing up that she had a nine inch nail shirt on? The this character they said she was on the cover. Someone in the the chat was, and oh, then there she was nails? wearing a yeah. If you go look, she's oh, wearing a ninja shirt. shirt. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a ninja yeah, right. shirt. She is. Yep. Yeah. There's, yeah, yeah, 90s for you. 90s pipe pop culture being brought into comics. I love that. All right. Damage, Damage. both Daniels and Lepresti did the oh I didn't know Lepresti did the book. All right. Really? Okay. Maybe, cool. So he took over for Daniel then after Daniel left. Is that what happened? Because I think Daniel did the first three issues. Lady Bath- Bathor- Bathory. 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 I'm from Massachusetts. <laughs> What's your excuse? I'm from Jersey. <laughs> 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 We're both <as> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> That's a lot of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Full armor ruckus. Yeah, yes. I remember him. Yes, so full cool. armor that ruckus. That is so cool. I love That's that. That's got to be a toy. That is sick. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't. I'm surprised McFarland didn't make a bunch of toys out of this. Maybe he did, and I just missed it. I don't think so. But again, yeah, just uh, cool character designs. Mm-hmm. Yep, he yep. just threw oh, everything an awesome on face. it. Look at that. Yeah, good old 90s detail. Yep. I just, I love that. Like, just whatever, this is going to look cool, so this is what I'm going to do. That's that's pretty much. I'm just going to throw that's, this here. That's the cool factor. That is the Hell cool yeah. factor that we always talk about in comic books, you know? I don't need everything explained. Like, I don't have to have an answer for everything that somebody has on their costume. You know, just as long as it looks cool. It's there. It looks cool. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But I like it. Shots. <laughs> oh, and kiss my ass. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Makes Don't sense. Don't me. It's a good time. Yeah. Hell yeah. There are the 10 figures, but there is. Is there a ruckus figure? I ask you. That is the question. Does anybody know? Let us know. Ruckus figure. Find it out. Probably Full not. armored ruckus. eBay it. Look it up yeah. on eBay. If it's anywhere, it's on eBay. <laughs> and donate it. I got to say, for as evil and uh, nasty as this dude is, she's looking kind of intrigued. Like, uh, yeah, she's looking like she's allured by him or maybe yeah. she's trying to seduce <laughs> him. Oh, wait, no, she's trying to seduce him. Oh, you're not going to kill me now. Are oh, you? yeah. Like, like they're always doing, doing the, the movies. movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, that's getting uh, that's getting creepy. Yeah. All right. But, but that's, I like the, I like the panel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> great. It's great. You got to, Chris, you got to grab this whole series. There's a mini series. There's yeah. like 14. Uh, oh, this, there's a ton of yeah. these. I'm surprised you're not, you, you, you never picked this up. This yeah, I'm surprised too. Stuff. Yeah. But again, like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how popular this series was. I don't know numbers wise. I don't know how it sold. I just remembered liking it as a kid. 
discount this rope. Discount rope. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cool perspective. Yeah, I always thought that was a wild looking uh, tulip of a rocket. I was just going to say, yeah, yeah it's got yeah. a little, it's crazy design there. Yeah. yeah, this is a fun book. What's the name of the omnibus? Which one? I love this. Yeah, that's it's thick. Nice. There we go. That's, that's like cool detail. Wolverine met Lobo and they had yeah. a baby on this page. Lobo, Lobo, Lobo. When darkness falls in a world like this, in a world when darkness falls, the sun might not come up until 12 hours later. <laughs> uh, oh, Dark ooh, Child. Dark yeah, Child. Yeah. Dark yeah. Child. Awesome yeah. yeah. That is awesome. That's a great book, too. That was a great book. Oh. All right, now this is my favorite cover of all time. Yeah, that is an amazing cover. I love this. Just the white, how all the yeah. color pops up off of it. There we go. Yeah, the colors. I mean, damn, the colors on this book are sick. How Especially the covers are just, man, they pop. Yes, and the this choice, must be the one. Here. Yeah, the choice here for the white background with just the uh, fire isolated to a panel. And it just man, it works. And again, <laughs> the color choice with the character to be like a, a purplish gray. Yeah. I mean, just there's I've said this before, like there are some colors that just really work well in print and in comics. Purple is one of them. Yeah. You know, purple purple and kind of a pinkish color definitely they, they pop with other colors, and this just looks great. You know what else works good, Joe? Boobs? JDRF blue. Oh. For type one, sign up for that mailing list on Indiegogo right now, please. You'll be getting there a Mike McMahon prism card if you get one of the secret tier thingies that everybody does. So thank you. Look look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. I don't know where her nipples are, though. They're covered. Doesn't matter. Doesn't That's they're all just, that matters, right? They're just like slightly covered. I like to form chicks. <laughs> Maybe she's a living Barbie doll. <laughs> Maybe it's what <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 he definitely it reminds me a little of Mad and Joe Madden here for sure. That's another really cool face. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Don't tell your boy Zach Purple and Pink Pop. I know. I no know. promises. No promises. But they do. Oh, well. Yeah, man. I was just going to say. <laughs> I don't fall into a lot of that worry, you know, just like visually wise colors. There's certain colors in comics going back to forever that just work very well visually for the reader. And, and those are colors. On my work. Eyes, so I don't care. <laughs> yes, scary Batman Jenkins. Hell, brother. Hell. What's going on, brother? It says, hail everyone or hail all. Sorry, I'm late. That's all right, man. It's all good. We I are here like just having, having fun trying to make, you know, trying to get this camera to focus. Just looking at some really awesome art like we always do here. I love these panel layouts right here. I love the simplicity of the blood drop. Very easy panels to draw. It'll take you about maybe a minute to do. But in print, it looks great. Capullo and McFarlane did this all the time with Spawn. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. The blood just gets more intense. It's great. Good boot tread. Yeah, if I can focus. There we go. You love boots. I like a yeah. good boot tread on a, like, you know, that's something some people forget, that little detail. I, yeah, I, I, I had gotten that myself. So I'm drawing boot treads now. So what a coinky dink. <laughs> <laughs> It'll help the sales. Well, hopefully. <laughs> that's the rule. Scary Batman Jenkins, I forgot to give you a shout out, is a member of the channel. Thank you, brother, for being a member. Um, yeah, there's yeah, there is her friend that has been demonized or something, but still looks hot. Now, her name is Esmeralda, I think. The the the, the, brown, the main black character, hair. yeah, yeah. I don't, what is going on here? I don't know, but <laughs> it looks like it. awesome, but it looks great if I can get it in the shot here without losing the focus. This is a great double page. 
you know spread here going on. This is way too much work. And pink edition coming incoming crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that beautiful lady in the middle? Oh, that's Sean. Well, I did try a new strategy today. So thank you for noticing. Coconut butter. Shining. Uh, I was just gonna say, do I need to put Kayla in the middle, guys? <laughs> Don't put baby in the corner. All right, Another here we go. Panel. I'm working the corner. <laughs> I'm working this corner tonight, okay? Uh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, that's powerful. That's beautiful. I love it when you can just silhouette the face and just have the mm -hmm. eyes pop out. Yeah. Love that about those kind of characters. <laughs> Back off, scary Batman Jenkins. Sean, Sean is my best friend. <laughs> Sean, I think everybody wants you to hold their pocket. <laughs> oh, What's shit. Every seventh Tuesday in February. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can get these pages. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. See, I was waiting for someone to make that comment. This, you know what? Your channel is so much more calmer than I want to death, death Guard stream. <laughs> well, we try to be respectful around here, they, you know. They try, and they've been doing very behave, so we love them for that. Oh no, they're they're fine. If they've ever watched a Death Cars channel, woo, woo. Besides my interviews, that's the only tame thing on that channel. <laughs> I mean, we can go, we can go all you know, perverted and dirty on this channel too. It's just like you know, we're trying to be. That's not something. Fairly... Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, know. all right. So this is some, something I do not like here. I will say. All right, what you got? The eyes Tell on me. this. The eyes. It's like, I don't know if she's supposed to look like she's going. Oh, wait. Maybe now that it's focused, it looks good. But for a moment, it looked like she was going cross-eyed because the white on the right oh, yeah, yeah. eye here. The highlight. For me, it looked like, yeah, the highlight there. It looked like yeah, her It's kind of hard to see in the camera. Yeah. So I was like, what is going on? I'm like, who, who <laughs> left the let this come out like this what is going on here i like the the pose though the pose is really cool yeah it's got the the 90s bend to it you know got the power up you know like that that standard gesture pose mm. that you there, drew there you for go. a dude or a chick regardless yep what are you doing i'm about to power up oh here's another one yeah there you go really sir <sighs> It looks like the hole in her pants is getting big. I was just going to say, whatever power she's using is ripping her clothes off. I mean. I like it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how that all of likes the it artwork. Too. Yeah. Like what I've noticed about this is all of the artwork here, like on both pages or just in general with this book series here. It looks yeah. like the artwork can look into the other page like it works very well with the other page right yeah they flow very well together it. yeah he hey, always has some character comments. like going this way towards the other page so it brings mm -hmm. your eye storytelling's great i mean i just want to set this down yes we are this... we are making comics great again yeah absolutely somebody's got to this is like a Clint book. Yeah. Nothing I mean, wrong with that? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a little AAT. Mm -hmm. ah, I hate you. I hate everything about you. I don't even know you. I don't even know you. She doesn't even go to this school. She doesn't even go to this school. <laughs> 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 all right there we go you got a good focus there again very pit like there but i dig it love it yeah. gums gums and teeth baby gums, gums and teeth i like the transition from the cooler car um cool Color. cooler colors into the warmer <laughs> colors with the characters yep. on this page yep. <laughs> you know what i was trying to say <laughs> i did i did yeah jordan says comics need more under boobs so clothes ripping Ripping power should be more common. Yes. yes. I'm going to I'm gonna make note of that. We're going to have more under boob and Reaper Destroyer. That will be in the Grove coming soon-ish. Yeah. yeah. One day. Not today. One day. But not today. I'm 
like, I have to read this because I, this is cat. a book like, I don't even know what the hell is going on in it, but <laughs> I want to read it to see what the story is at this point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I remember it being fun to read. And again, like most comics I read back in the day, you know, I'd read like once and I just look at the art because I was just trying to learn how to draw like these guys. Oh, that's <laughs> <But> I remember. <laughs> I haven't seen a struggle like East. this in Jamie East. Isn't it Jamie either. East? They don't show on. I like the West, she, though. Yeah. She West Where is side. Jamie? Where's she been? I hope she's doing okay. Ooh, good pose. Great pose. Look that. That's Look at those cool. drill fingers. Yeah. <sighs> nice. <laughs> Little <Funny>. bitches. <laughs> uh, love it. I will have under boobs in most of my new comics. There you go, Apex. Under boob all around, everybody. Look, our friendship. Sharing is caring. <laughs> I don't know how she has anything covering her anymore, except for her panties. <laughs> her thongs did not get ruined. But the- Everything <laughs> else, though. <laughs> That's her chastity <laughs> belt. Completely gone. <laughs> oh, shit. It looks Hail like Mary, she comes, go. Whatever Hail the hell Mary that is, is covering her. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that like is this, that... <laughs> this is a this is a, a horny young man drawing this book for that sure. That is like a hypersexual pose. <laughs> that yeah, is absolutely the, yeah. The like, black goo. <laughs> he was he was watching something earlier in the day when he sat before he sat down to do this this panel. He's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh back to monsters. <laughs> back to monsters, yeah. Uh Scary, J- J- scary Batman Jenkins says thong, the thong, thong, thong. Yes, that was the su- the song of Cancun in the summer of two thousand. Was that yeah. a great song to go to? Thank you. Was that two thousand? Yeah. Was it? I thought it was it two thousand. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. long ago, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Focus, focus, Joey son. For the love of God. There we go. It's like you gotta get real close and then slowly pull it back. That's a great Stupid. page. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love this. Look at the detail on the arms. The veins popping out. Yeah. That was Tony a lot prior of energy. to the previous page. Huh? That was Tony prior to the previous page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 90s logic Again. dictates that G-, G strings are all made of titanium. Oh, I think temple. your underwear is finally gone. Oh. Yep. yep. Losing more and more clothes as we go. So is Ezra <laughs> Yes. I have a fever. And the only cure is more under boob. <laughs> uh, we drove Kayla off. Oh, she's like, I didn't I, even I, realize. I'm too busy. To, I dirty perverts. <laughs> she's stop. like, she's like, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> no, my mouse is on stop cam, and I think I must have clicked it when I was laughing. I just didn't even realize. <laughs> I would have spent she's... the rest of the show like that. Woo! Like. I'll... I dig this oh. art though. I mean, like, there's some there's some fun stuff going on here. This is just wild. I yeah, love it. it is. Yeah, this was a fun book. I forgot. I feel how like awesome was, this like, book is. Everything that I can put in this, however, whatever I think looks cool, I'm throwing it in here. We're making yep. it work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and I think that's I think that's what worked about these independent books in the '90s for Image is like a lot of creators. That's what they did. You know, like. I, I think that's what I like about uh, a lot of stuff in comics day too, and in, in the indie Holy scene, it's shit. just you're taking whatever your influences are, and you're like, let's throw it all in there. Let's find a way to do it. That's what we're that doing. is freaking cool. That's that that's ruckus is weapon. dead, man. <laughs> what the what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, it's ruckus's head being severed from his body. Oh shit! I thought it was his like the thing that was behind him in the other picture. I'm definitely reading this. <laughs> like, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of nudity for not that much nudity. Yeah. 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 Tomato, tomato. It's a legal amount, I guess. All right. Yeah. I don't know. I remember I posted a picture not too long ago of something. Oh, it was uh, when I posted a picture of the, my characters, the sirens, those uh, demon chicks with, they're basically naked with, you know, armor that covers their lady bits. And somebody somebody posted you got this from them. Uh I might have been influenced 
from this book. I mean, a lot of these books I read back in the day, like the Creech, uh, Pit, the Tenth, Spawn, Darkness. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I have in Reaper Destroyer was influenced from this era. Oh, those speed lines. Those, nice. those speed lines, really? Oh, back. What these would you appear? use for that? Yes, Tony. Yeah. yeah. Hail, Hail Dean. Hail, brother. And the bike. Go to the bike. I'm curious to see the bike. Bike, 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 bike. Bikes are hard to draw, I find. That bike right there? That bike? Or that bike? Or the other bike. Yeah, Mike. Hail, brother. Hail, Mike. Good to see you. Or that wheel. Yeah, that's super cool. That's cool, though, man. And the buildings. And the buildings. To the window. To the wall. To the wall. Yes. I don't know why it's focusing now, but let's hope it stays like that. Maybe I'll just keep on moving. Maybe that's the key. Oh, I love the whole face to face. That was sick. Yeah. At the top there. Let me get back to it. There we go. That is sick. A bit of reckoning oh, there. I love that. Yeah. I'm all about that right there. Yeah, I dig this a lot. This is better than what I remember. I remember really liking this book quite a bit. But it's been I a just while looked at since this last week. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad you brought this up, Sean, because it's been a while since I actually read this. I don't like to brag, but I do. Yeah, it was an awesome book. <laughs> I never had an interest before in reading it, to be honest, until tonight. <laughs> well, that's what we try to do on this channel is like try to get people that haven't uh, seen some of these cool books, in my opinion, to give them a shot. What, what about this? that bike, Scott? <laughs> what about this? Yeah, nostalgia, right? Exactly. What about the rip hole under her? No. Ooh, I like that. Look at those eyes. Now that's good. The eyes are beautiful. And the lips, too. Yeah. He, the colorist did such a great job with this artwork. Yeah, mm -hmm. Co yeah the color. This is a great combination. This this team right here was worked very well. Yeah, because everything just works very well with this. The colors are great. Again, purples, guys. Purple. Telling you. Something hey, about the old... And granted, this was you know computer colored too, is you know back in the but it was nineties like but computer. The you know, start but... of it though, like this is just the yeah. beginning of it. So yeah. Apex, this is uh, Tony Daniels the tenth the miniseries, four issue. There's a zero. I always get confused if that's prior or after, but we can't count. Had to have been after because I didn't get it, so it must yeah. have come out after. Lick it. There... Yeah, well, there were I two separate times. It. Send five bucks. Lick it. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Send ten ten bucks. Send we'll figure something bucks. out. <laughs> yeah, we'll do anything for money, guys. Just so you know. Uh, the beginning. I like that. Oh, nice. nice. Somehow I missed this book. Oh, let what? me get back. Let me get back. What? Let me get back. Just picked up the trades on eBay. Oh, nice. 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 You're going to love it. Uh, what did uh, Cl Cy oh, wait. Cyclonus? Cyclone this one. Cyclonus. Cyclonus one. Hail. Good to see you. Yes. I like that name. The Tenth Spirit of the Tao. The Tao? 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 Ascension. So many great comics in the early 2000s. Love that you're bringing back the great interior art style in a world of amazing covers and bland interiors. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Um, thank you, brother, for being here. Appreciate it. I basically I inked all the crap Marlo didn't want to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, Marlo. No, I'm kidding. Yep. This was a uh, face that was in the... In, Issue number one, which I really wanted to look at issue number one because there's some great art in that book. But for some reason, Joe, I can't stop, find Joe, it. Joe, stop. Joe, stop. Phil might stream in two hours. In two hours. In two hours. Just so we know. Just so you know. Just so you know. Two hours, Two people. hours. Two hours. Phil everyone. might stream. Two hours. Okay, back to the book. Uh, Yeah, dude. Everybody go out and check it. You know, if, if yeah, you guys like, like this kind of stuff, you know, like you, you like the stuff we look at here that we that we kind of represent on this channel. Uh. <laughs> He just wants to see me in a green thong. <laughs> Look, if you I send a five hundred dollars super chat, I'll do it. That's it. You know what? I feel like there should be like some kind of fundraiser going. Like you should put up like the super chats for Sean's Robin costume. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what oh, we, we need got, to do. We got, okay. And then you can wear it on Halloween. Or not. Like. Or not. <laughs> Tony Daniel drew a fill-in <laughs> issue of Witchblade, all the chicks. Yeah, that was a great issue. He did a couple, I thought. He did the uh, Tales of the Witchblade, which is like a pirate chick. Oh, yeah. Yep. I, for oh, yep. I forgot about that till now. Yeah, that's right. He was uh, he was a rising star for 
a little bit there. Like, I'm not quite oh, sure dude. exactly what, what happened. The tenth came out. Yeah, he did that. Um, Silk. I dipped out of the. Into, I like dipped it? collecting comics for a while though, so I kind of lost track of where he went after that. Who was the colorist again? Um, the colorist on the miniseries was Bo-Katan. Paul Mounts and Bokagat Bongoton. That's in Florida. Bongoton. Bongoton. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna look better. Shane's old. Yeah. What? Shane's old. Will Sean <laughs> cosplay as Robin before Shane can? Shane's got oh. a dad bod. <laughs> hey, like, hey. You don't hey. have a dad bod. You you look sexy you... and sassy and classy and elegant. Well, thank and persuasive. you. Persuasive. You know. I yeah, appreciate that. Spirit appreciate of the Tao across the world. High five. Nice. Hell yeah. See. <laughs> Go ahead, Kayla. It's Robin. Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words. Wait, not the words. Uh, what? What Jasper saying? Tony Downey did Tales of Witch Play. Yeah. Yeah. Did I say that? Homemade Robin costume, or or why? Or why bother? Yeah. There are five different volumes of the tenth and two one shots. Yeah, I've got. Yeah. I don't have all of them because there, there was a few times here where this was I was bouncing in and out of collecting comics around this time, music, comics, back and forth, getting get more into girls. Uh, this is the issue I have. I think this is the second miniseries. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is mm-hmm. the second one. Uh, Past Master Dan. One of these things is not like the other. Hail, Past Master Hail. Dan. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Uh, the Art and Times, Jay Ryan is here as well. Hail, Demonize. The tenth was awesome, Joe. Uh, have you seen the action figures as well? Just got here, so I don't know if you guys talked about it. Uh, we oh. brought it up earlier. I personally have not seen them. Um, I know that they were, they made some, but I've not not seen them. The Boy Wonder. Hmm. I'm wondering. I have all of my nice. original 10th issues. That's badass. I should try to find the rest of them and, and complete my collection. Hmm. That's an interesting fact. Amanda Connors, colorist. Nice. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. I met her when I was a kid. I don't know if I recognize that she name. People love Korean. her for doing Harley Quinn. Like, they love her Harley Quinn stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. She, she was the nicest person to ever reject me for getting a sketch at 15. She's like, I'm not doing free sketches, son. I'm like, have you autographed? So she did it kind of cool. Let You're me. like, what about for five bucks? <laughs> That's what yeah. I would have said. Uh, I love the shirt. It says boy crazy. That's that's what I'm doing. You know, as a as a teenage as a teenage young man, that's what I like to see. He he did something different with the face, or is this? Did he even do this cover? Who did this cover? Yeah, no, this is him. But this is this is what I was going to bring up. So this is the second this is the second mini series, and you're going to see an, a change in his art style. Yeah, in, like in it's series. it has slightly changed. Yeah, it, it, it looks- keeps it keeps on going. So we're gonna get into this, but you're gonna see a little bit more of the manga anime f- influence here. So we have, yep, same color team. So the team is still the same. Oh, yeah, oh. Joe, Joe, what? Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, stop. what? What? Super chat. No. Super, it's you. I can't read it. It's not my show. Damn, for 1999, that is not cheap. Thank you, Crazy Mad. Appreciate it. He says, imagine someone paying so <laughs> paying money for Sean will dress up as Robin. Imagine that. But well, I'm not getting any of it. Fuck. That's true. This is my channel. So I guess <laughs> you're paying me for him to dress up. Yeah, I like that, though. Yeah. I like that. I think Fuck those should you, be the rules. That. I think that should be the rules. Kidding. This elastic character really reminds me of like that. That it was a Death Note. Is that that oh, anime? Yeah, yeah. Death Note is what you're thinking of. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's absolutely. Yeah. It, it has that kind of that facial feel. He simplified his style. Yeah, it's probably a good good point. It looks a lot probably. cleaner. Yeah. Which I mean, you see a lot of artists do this at some point or another. They have to start working faster, get stuff out. Yeah, it's it's still good, still a lot of detail, but yeah, very. You're right. A lot more simplified for sure. He's definitely elastic. That's more sure. cartoony, exaggerated. Yeah, very, very much more cartoony. Wait till you get to like issue, I think seven or eleven. 
where the, the cover with the chick with the snake, like that is just breaking all sorts of anatomical laws of gravity, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know if I have that in the pile here. Let me look. Oh, uh, Luke is here. Holla if you hear me. Hey, Luke. Good to I see don't you, hear brother. you, but I see you. So I'm going to holla back. Nope, I don't have that, that issue. We write like, Oh, Padrino's here. Hey, Padrino. Hail, oh, Padrino. Get a queen. Get a queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh feel my like gosh, I need to Sean cut that like... and steal that for my show now. <laughs> <laughs> is it because uh, I look like Carrie Kelly? Is it because I look fat in this hat? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because we're not used to seeing you with a red hat on the top of your head. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. Hold on, uh, Henry said it's like Joe Mad inked by Todd McFarlane. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. One day I'm gonna figure out how to say his last name. Kayla, do you know how to say his last name? Bring him back up. Bring Henry back. Who's up. last Let's name? See Let's see if Kayla can do it. Henry's last name. Jeremac. Okay. See, that's what I thought too. But he said that was wrong. I, I don't know. I'm from Massachusetts. Everything I say is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> That's my know. accent. <laughs> He's not even here. You can't. Well, maybe is you it, can. Is it? I don't know, unless his name is Yaramek. Like, the J sounds like oh, a Y. Oh, I didn't think about that. Is that close, Henry? I mean, I grew up in a Spanish neighborhood, so J's it didn't sound like Y's. <laughs> that could be. That could be. We might have figured it out. He's deglazing. How's this? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sean just lost an eye live. The things I do for you nerds. Mm. I love this. The underboob's back. Oh, I love the it. underboob. Wait. It's like a circle underboob. Yeah, like that's great. Scary Batman Jenkins. All right, everyone. I have to go to bed. <laughs> uh, get up at four. Hail <laughs> everyone in the chat and hail to all the sexiness <laughs> on my screen. Even you, Sean. Hail Scary Batman Jenkins. Thank yeah, you for being a member of the one. channel and you have a great night. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Carrie I Kelly. Thought, I thought he called me Kelly Clarkson. I was like, yeah. <laughs> So you never know with him. Clark. This this book has inspired me to create a character that has power that every time she uses it, it rips her clothes off. Oh, that's I think I've dead set on that now. Yep. Kayla knows her Latinos. Watch out now. She knows this one. <laughs> I am Puerto Rican, just so everyone knows. Partly. I'm Mexican on paper. Part. Yeah. I didn't cross the border, the border crossed us. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. I can say them on paper. I'm neither no, nor. Thing. I just grew up in a Spanish neighborhood, so I picked up. Oh, so you're worried about getting robbed all the time? I know the video. No, like, oh, no, for not at all. It's like, no, dear, why are you trying to take my wallet? <laughs> Henry, Hen we did never. not get his last name right. He said, Joe, <laughs> just forget it. Henry, we'll do just fine. No worries. <laughs> all right. I just want to see if someone else could get it. Uh, you should check out Crimson. That was sick as fuck. Yeah, the first seven issues who, were great. Who did who? <laughs> Who's the artist? Alberto that? Ramos. That's my that's right. That's right. Latino accent. I remember not really getting into that book back in the day, but I might have to give it a, another <laughs> two percent African. <laughs> uh, on paper, half Mexican. On paper. On paper. He's on, on paper. paper. I'm just an Armenian Irish person. Nice. Hey, I'm I'm a quarter Puerto Rican and an eighth black. He's black. It's okay. <laughs> you Matthew Perry motherfucker. <laughs> Who are you calling Matthew Perry? <laughs> uh, so this art is this art is still good. Yeah, but there's a little bit that's it's missing something. Yeah, exactly. Thank it you. It doesn't it's have that something. same feeling when mm -hmm. you look at it. Was there, is there a different editor between this book and the other book? Is what I'm curious about. Uh, Bahara. A Harry Hundry. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that name. Let me look here. Editors. I'm still on paper. I see no editor right you here. can't deny me my heritage. <laughs> uh, I don't even see an editor listed. Oh, oh hmm. no. Hey, Joe, read this, buddy. This is your show. Uh, can I get an N word pass from Joe? <laughs> Crimson was good. Good yeah. story. Good story. 
Oh, who said what? Oh, Crimson? Yeah. Yeah. So I got I'm, not I'm, even an I'm, editor I'm, listen. Listen. That's yeah, there wasn't an editor. Yep, there wasn't an editor listed. So this is there's an editor on this book. It doesn't look like the original miniseries. There was an editor. I yeah, maybe that's the difference. Could be. Maybe the editor came in and was like, nope, gotta clean do it, it all up. Way, clean it up. Yeah, because even the, the panels are a lot more traditional. Yeah, they comic lost panels. that feeling. It's kind of like his creativity, I feel, was controlled a bit. I mean, I wouldn't know unless I asked the man. <laughs> so Yeah, yeah. Uh, before I go, The Coven by Ian Churchill was great, too. Yeah, we'll have to check oh. that out. Yeah, Coven, Coven was, was good. Favorite. We had Ian on Art and Stuff, which you should subscribe. Was that last year or two location? years ago? Uh, last year of 20. Okay. Like March of Time 21? flies. Yeah. We, got, we should get him back on the show sometime. Yeah, we should. And, and cool go dude. to The Coven. Yeah, great guy. Art and Stuff. Art and Stuff. At and stuff. That's like how I talk normally. At and stuff. Well, well it's, it's yep. everybody making fun of my accent. I read the shit out of Crimson. Sarah Hope uh, would probably pop on to dis di discuss. Nice. Sandra Hope. I would love to talk to Sandra Hope. Yeah. Fantastic anchor. I agree. Uh, but yeah, you're, this uh, focus. There we go. Gulliver, I like it. That looks, that's like alien like mixed with Gollum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gulliver's travels very cool. No, what accent you have an accent? <laughs> what are you talking about? The observations. Oh, I can't, Gulliver. I could never do talk it, talking, talk, talking, talk. Sean, talking Sean's here. accent. <laughs> I'm walking here. How you doing? I don't want to know. Just in my way. Say water. 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 Yeah, I, I like drag out my A's and I feel like you put an O. Like you're like Brian's hey. only old. <laughs> Just got Hunter Killer Volume 1 for my birthday today. Going to enjoy some early Roken for it. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome. In Phil's native language on paper, <laughs> it's ja 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 ja. Written wise. Oh, oh shit. My you know what? <laughs> We need to do that art reveal. Uh, oh, where's Rick? Yeah. Rick was supposed where's, to pop in here at, at 11. He never did. I was waiting for him to pop in. And we're gonna Maybe did you send him a link? I did. Rick, if you're still in the chat, I'm going to send him a text. I text Octogon Comics. Hail Joe and Co. Hail. Hey, you. Hey, good to see you, brother. Hey, yo. Get in here. Oh, Welcome my God. Now. If I was to say that. Mark. Say it, please. Welcome to Bahaba, home of the world's largest out art festival. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. Bah Bahaba. I like it. Bahaba. Hey, it's Mark Wahlberg. I like the Boston. I still like the. I still like the Boston Batman. <laughs> <laughs> the Boston. <laughs> uh, Demonize says, "Joe, check out Kelly Jones, the Hammer. I think you would like that as well." Oh, yeah, that is... Check that out. Yeah. Andy Kelly Jones is good. Kelly ba ha ba. Hmm. Oh, I thought he was trying to laugh on my translation. <laughs> That's why I thought I first think he was he's, he, he's translating what I said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, waiting for Rick to get in here so we can do that, do that art reveal for the uh, newest artist is coming on to do a piece for the Reaper Destroyer campaign. We're going to... Continue Am I from looking Maine? at this. No, she's from Sarasota, Kentucky. Mm. Mm. Can you tell? That all makes sense now. Yeah. I'm from Mars. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> oh, bring up past Master Dan. Where'd he go? He is. He's down at the bottom. So didn't realize it was after 11 p.m. I've been celebrating 25 years of married bliss. Whoop. Congratulations. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Hail to you. Yeah. That is awesome. That's that is beautiful. awesome. One day I hope to get. No, I don't. But good for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, even he changed the way that he um, drew the butts. Wait, sorry. I got to take you out, Phil. Yeah, a little bit of... You. Yeah, not as uh, pronounced. A little bit yeah. skinnier. Took he a little bit of the junk out of the trunk. More for the camel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... Come on. I, I'm sorry. I thought that might have been a little... But, like, you know, he's I, did, I did not see... <laughs> <laughs> yep, I got you're right. Eyes. Things are quite a bit. Well, yeah, there's definitely. I mean, he he made a jump 
in a specific way with his art. And maybe that was an editor. Maybe it was feedback on his other stuff. I personally liked it. I loved so it. So somebody was trying to ch- tell him they needed to change some stuff. Or tone it down it was, or something. Yeah, I think that was bad advice because not that this is bad. I mean, this is still good, but. it's You know what it is? It's not bad. This is very. So par. Thank you. It's very mediocre. I'd say it's just. Yeah. It's not as exciting. And looking at this now, uh, again, I, I do remember that I was disappointed with this when it came out. And this was, I, that's probably why I didn't collect the entire, now that I think about it, it's probably why I didn't do the entire collection of the of the tent. Is because I'm, I'm very visually stimulated <laughs> when it comes to comic book art. So if you change something, that's right. Uh, if you change something too much. Uh, in your art style, I could go from like absolutely loving your stuff to being just like, eh, you know, it's it's not my thing anymore. And that's the hmm. danger danger artists have when they uh, mess with their style too much. Very very manga was where he went with this stuff, like even more so than like Joe Mod. And, and I like Joe Mad; his shit was great. Uh, Zay or Zay. Phil says, uh, damn, why is Kayla never on my channel? She needs to do voiceovers <laughs> for our intro. Yeah. Just DM me, Phil. Anytime. There you go. <laughs> yeah, people are saying congratulations Ryan's to totally Past old. Master Dan. Yes, Phil, get on that. Ooh. Shigima. Sh- sh- yeah, what you said. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan Horse said the OG butts were better. Yes, they were. They were. <laughs> I agree. Uh, we have Angela Curry in the house. Hail. The chat jumped you, on She says, hey, guys. Well, I am just going. Welcome here. to not appreciating comic book art by Joe Sante. <laughs> <laughs> Still appreciating it, but we can be a little critical here every once in a while. Like, yeah. we did the yeah. same thing with um, we did the same thing with the, the Greg Capullo Creech because he did slightly different, a little different mm-hmm. style with the Creech book two than he did with book one. You know? I mean, there are things I like. I like that. That's cool. You know, it's yeah. nice. I mean, that's it's just really cool. That com- panel right there I like. But Yeah, just compared to the first stuff where it's very energetic, very dynamic panel layouts, this is a little bit more just kind of, I don't want to say boring because boring is not the word, but just it's, it's too not contained. the same. It's yeah. too contained. <laughs> yeah. What did uh, J. Ryan say? I think he was uh, rushed doing the second series because the quality fell off. Even the story was still, so- oh, even though the story was still solid, and that could have very well been. You know, I'm trying to hit those deadlines. You know, I have no idea what it was like back then for these guys. I don't know. I kind of like the old Tony Daniel art style. It's like Ethan's old Cyberfrog stuff. I love that cartoony style he had back. Oh, we got the man. All right, we All right. got, we got the Rick man. in the house now. We Pop him Rick. up. Get him up in here. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Demon Eyes, for sure. Like the the older stuff with a lot of these guys. So let's say the first the first mini series that he did, maybe he had longer to work on. You know, maybe he was working on that while he was working on Spawn or doing other stuff. You know, so he was putting more into it, more excitement. I just and, uh, realized you're talking, and then there's a little version you on your shoulder. <laughs> oh, there yeah. is, isn't there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Peter made a really good point when he said the panel sucked the energy out of the art. The OG was much more wild. I agree. Uh, that's yeah. that's what it is, too, yeah. as well. Those uniform panels, they're just kind of bleh. Mm-hmm. You know? There we go. Yeah, that's that's one of my arguments with, uh, with a lot of modern comic art. Uh, the dynamic layouts of, like, the 90s stuff that I grew up loving... Um, that's what was cool about those books is it was visually entertaining, like a page, the way it was designed, the entire page was artwork, not just paneled out artwork. Like the, there was thought going into the way the page looked and you could step back and look at an entire page and be entertained before you even read mm-hmm. the page and went through the art. Uh, when you cut back to, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, it's more of a, you know, standardized kind of paneling, but it's just, it can get boring. It can get stale, in my opinion. When, when you have the opportunity to do something dynamic, why not? You know, why not? Oh uh, shit! <laughs> the number two re- destroyer backer. Oh shit! Oh shit! 
All right, let me, never... let me pull this off for a second. We're going to talk to Rick for a little bit. We have an art reveal coming up. Uh, but first, Rick, how you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, man. Good. Pretty good. How you guys doing? What is pretty up, good. Rick? How you doing? A little good Joe, yes. <laughs> it was a little Joe on my shoulder. Uh, Dean said the panels are part of the art and should be treated as such. Yes, sir. And Dean is Absolutely. killing it on his Absolutely. panel layout. Like, awesome. You can tell when an artist is very excited about doing sequential work because it's not just storytelling, uh, progressing the story through the panels, but it's like, how can I tell the story on this page? How can I make it uh, compelling for the reader? Uh, dynamically, you know, interesting, you know, just something that stands out different than a normal five to six panels, you know, and move through the page. Uh, you can tell when somebody does it just based on their work and someone that absolutely loves storytelling sequential storytelling like a guy like brett booth or something like that or Ro kenneth rocafort you're going to see guys really go out of their way to design the entire page around the story instead of just trying to fit it in to move it through and get it done or sean Aaron on type one Sign or sean that Aaron. Go. that's right yeah. hashtag don't forget about sean hashtag don't forget about me oh <sighs> yeah all right all right so let's get to rick here uh jasper says i'm with kayla I bet some elder statesman artists like Eric Larson critiqued the original 10th series and he re reeled, reeled it in. That could have been. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Let me turn this light off. If I ever see him at a con, I'm going to walk up to him and ask. <laughs> I, you if you ever see Tony Daniel or Eric Larson. <laughs> like, no, 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 Tony no, Daniel? no. Tony Daniels, um, <laughs> you know what? I would, I would probably ask that too. I don't have any fear. They're no different. Than Hell yeah! No say, <laughs> say fear again. Like, say fear again. Like apples, I don't have any fear. I, I don't like fear. it. Yeah, I like that. Good shit. Uh, all right, Rick. Oh, I got. Let me uh, let me go download this. I'm actually going to see the art for the first time as I download this. But I'm going to let my cat out of this room because you, you guys can hear it. Bag? I have to let the cat. <laughs> the, my cat has been like scratching this door. So All I'm going right. to let him out. I will be right back. Okay. So, so Rick, you want to talk about this for a second? Yeah, it's going to be cool, man. Uh, Joe's goddamn begging me all day. Send me an image. I didn't want to send him an image, though, because I, I figured he'd figure out. I think he knows who it is. There's nothing in this email, hey, Rick. What? Resend it. <laughs> He sent me a blank email. It says, says no subject. There's nothing in here. He sent it to Crazy Matt instead. <laughs> yeah. <he's... laughs> so we'll, on, we'll pause for a second while he brings up the email. And we'll show you who the new artist that he got. I haven't seen the art yet. <laughs> this is kind of a mystery to me, too. So it's going to be kind of exciting right. to see. But a, a, new, a new artist that we're bringing on to do something for the campaign. Very excited about. Uh, a new artist coming on it, to your campaign, and you don't even know who they are. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a this was actually something. This was actually something that, that Rick set up. I don't know what happened to Rick. I'm gonna bump him for a second. You let, <laughs> so when you let him find the email. <laughs> Julius Freeman Comics. He says uh, something. Que onda? Maybe is that what it is. I don't know. Hmm. I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could read. I wish we were. Does anyone want to take a stab at that? Paper. Yeah. What did? What did? Who, what's the comment? Que onda? What? El Padrino. <laughs> yeah, somebody gringo that help for us, us out. please. Help yeah. us out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, way, I'm way too pasty here to yeah, read that. We understand what that means. Uh, I would never ever talk. I would never talk to Eric Larson at a con. Yeah, who would want to? I'd be just now like, I hey, gotta knock at the door. Hold on. <laughs> okay. You keep on knocking, but you can't come in. <laughs> I would ask Eric Larson one question. I'd be like, can you show me how you hold a pencil? That's all. Jordan Horace says, I love Kayla's accent. Accents are great. Accents are great. Uh, I doubt it was Larson probably dialed it back to get work for Marvel. Yeah, I mean, I could have been too. Absolutely could have been too. Jairo. Package in the hallway, apparently. Amazon oh, dropped really? off a package at 11.33 at night. What is it's it? a little late to be doing uh, deliveries, it. I would think. <clears throat> Unbox it? It's, it's water bottles. <laughs> water bottles. <laughs> I'm dead serious. It's water bottles because I'm working oh, out okay. now. Oh, After I go. got sick, I was like, I'm going to start working out, walking 10,000 kilometers or whatever the hell it is a day. Um, I'm with Death Curse. So if you look up Death Curse, 
I am on their YouTube channel. That's yeah, if you go squad. way back up in the chat, I don't know if it's still available, but um, I know Jeremy, when he was still in here, dropped the link in the chat. If we have any other mods that can grab that death curse and drop it in there, uh, that'd be awesome. But yeah, you can go check out that channel. It's a fun channel. I was on her show not too long ago. I had a good time. We talked awesome. comics, which is what I loved. It's great. I'd love to do it again. Oh, you'll be back uh, on again. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear more about this book after I read it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we should do like yeah, uh, a, a wrap-up stream or something. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Green Laser said the cat wants back in and is knocking. That's probably true. Uh, Julia said you got it right. There you go. I still don't know what it means. <laughs> Zach Fernandez. Is uh, Kayla from Boston? What gave it away? Well, I'm from Massachusetts. It's more of That's Massachusetts true. and Boston. Salem. <laughs> I'm from the witch city. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Zach Fernandez says, uh, Larson holds his pencil like stirring spaghetti sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's working out. Uh, we are all done for. <laughs> hey, just letting you guys know, I just started working out too. I got to get rid of this dad bod. You know? Get the hell out of here. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm the biggest I've ever weighed, man. I'm about 20 pounds over the weight I would like to be. When I was in the band, man, I was nice and fit. Oh, you know, I was very God. active. Now very I just sick, draw man. and I sit around. I do. I don't do anything anymore. I just gain weight, eat fast food. It's not good. Not good. Starting just to run. Starting to jog a little bit. Just get and diabetes, good. and you can be this slim all your life. I'll to, I'll look into it. Yeah. Rick is it. ready and focus. I want to hear what's being said okay. here because I've got the book. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got my email <laughs> here. The first oh, one I went to see, and, and it kept saying that it was an invalid email. So somehow I made a draft of it and sent you the empty draft. <laughs> oh, man. You guys can't read. I can't use a computer. What the hell? Yeah, that's true. That is absolutely true. Read it. The moon, though. Mm. I'm lucky to use this fucking phone. All right. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Yeah, this, um, was, this was uh, a gift for Joe for... Uh, for basically his campaign, man, I, this guy came into my mind because this is one of my favorite artists. So I basically uh, hit him up one night and I sent a message to the Reaper Destroyer group. Well, first I sent one to Joe and I was like, hey, I kind of uh, did something behind your back. <laughs> was that your permission? <laughs> uh, I was in a band, yes. A very awesome band, by the way. Um, all right, we are going to do let's do the intro, or we're gonna do the countdown when we do reveals here. Is what we're gonna do. Oh, that no one else is gonna talk about the campaign for a split second because we did hit another subscriber, which pushed us to a number I've been trying to get to. So countdown, what we got? All right, here we go. There it is. Look at that badass. That is crazy. I love that. Go ahead, Rick. This is this is your baby. I'll let you talk about it. That's from our boy uh, Jason Basco, man. Mm, 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 mm. I told him I, just, I said, "Do whatever you want, man." I said, "Just do you do Jason," and that's, that's what he gets. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. You that. See, uh, he's got the monster coming up, eating his ass. See his two eyes. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Yep. It. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Jason, Jason's got his own style. That's why I didn't want to send you an image. I'm like, ah, like, yeah. When you sent me what you sent me, I, I right off the bat, I was like, yep, I, I can tell. Like, he's <laughs> such a he's such a unique, uh, unique art style that it just it screams his style when you see it. You know, like that's it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and that's all. That's always a really good, uh, really good mark for an artist to just be like so unique that when you see something. You know it's them automatically. Yeah, he's like yeah, our what's but actually talented. Jasper <laughs> asked why he has a boner, and my my answer would be like, why, why not? Doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? At this age, we're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Boners for everyone, I say. Yeah. Nice work, Jason says. Apex, very cool, says Peter. Uh, Bascom is sick. That that looks yeah. dope. Hell yeah. Eating his ass. <laughs> that's what I was That's what I, too. I heard too. I love how Jasper first thing you know this was his boner. <laughs> no judgment. Yeah, no judgment. No, no judgment. judgment. Joe was an air air supply, but don't tell anybody. That's true. 
That's very true. Yeah, this is awesome, man. Thank you. So, you, all right, uh, you want to go ahead since this is kind of your your baby, your thing of what your promotion here is for this campaign. Basically, with the with this, he he left a little out that way. The colorist. So I'm going to see if you can get uh, maybe Dan Kemp to color it. Yeah, yeah. Dan's like Dan's been the man over. coloring a bunch of a bunch yeah. of our stuff lately. So I'll, I'll definitely talk to him, see if we can get this going, and then we'll figure out what we're going to use it for for the campaign. Whether it's going to be a print, whether it's going to be one of the uh, trading cards that we're doing, because I know there's a, quite a bit more trading cards I want to put out on this campaign before it's all said and done. Uh, we'll figure we'll we'll figure something out, uh, but. <clears throat> With the destroyer tier, so here's the thing that we've been pushing with the destroyer tier. The destroyer tier is is the everything tier. If you get the destroyer tier, um, you get everything. You get everything we put out from now until we take the campaign down. We have 21 sold right now. Uh, what Rick is saying is this still the thing, Rick? Because I know you were yeah. pretty excited when you saw this. This still happened. Okay. Yeah. If we sell 60 of the destroyer tiers, and this is the entire time the campaign's running, so there's no real limit on this. Um, we are going to raffle off this original piece of art to the sixty, uh, the sixty destroyer so tier. Whoever back. Back, yeah, whoever back to the destroyer tier. Yep. So I mean, if it gets up to seventy, you know, because I'm not going to do it. At, I was thinking about doing it as soon as we got to sixty, but I mean, we might as well wait and let it, you know, till the campaign's about to finish. You know, what I mean, to make it fair for everybody this. who backs the destroyer tier. And if we don't get to sixty. Yo, know, Rick keeps it, so it's all good. Everybody wins. <laughs> but not, you know, you can, like I said, you can use whatever, whatever you want in the image, um, for for whatever will best suit the campaign. Sumo uh, Thor is in the house. Hey, brother. Good to see you. Jasper said he likes uh, Jason's art <clears throat> in black and white. Yeah, it looks great in black and white. Yeah, well, that's I was telling him. I was like, I asked him what his opinion was, and he was like. It, it would look good in color too, because if you, you know, a good colorist could pop it up too. Mm. So I was thinking maybe two versions. Mm. You know, once yeah, we see, very well uh, could be. I like Boscom black and white personally. That's that's all. Yeah, I think I got one. I got a couple pieces of his colored, but um, yeah, like it's just you could see his his work in it uh, with the black and white. So it's like. Yeah. You know the black and white. Yeah, the black and white is great. We'll we'll figure out what we're going to do with this, guys, for sure. But we just want to show it off, especially since we have it. That is awesome. Let you know that this could be auctioned off to a destroyer tier uh, backer if we get to that number sixty or above. Um, otherwise, this is going to Rick because he. This is this is all Rick. This is a big surprise that that he did. And Rick Rick is one of the uh, one of the biggest backers I think in in CG. I mean, like he's he backs everybody. Great supporter of creators. Um, he's done done a lot of stuff to help out this campaign and a lot of other campaigns. So this was just this is all on him. So just a, a giant thank you, man. Like this is awesome. I really appreciate it. I figured it'd be a nice bonus, man. You guys, you know, I, I'll do something for uh, Sean's campaign too, man. Because he's oh, he's a big part of the, you know, our you know, you guys are our entertainment, man. That's why I push CG and I try to do what I can, awesome. man. Because it's you know, without you guys, where else are we gonna go? Where else are we gonna get good books? Not Marvel or DC. That is for sure. Oh, wow. That's for sure. And that's you know, one of the one of the one of the reasons why we spend so much time on this channel looking at old comic book art <clears throat> is because that was you know the last time that I personally had the excitement of collecting comics and in in yeah. art and in the industry and everything like that. Like that was the last time that gave me joy. There's you no know, I and we job. Yeah. There's no what? There's no I and we. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's a good point. That's a good point. Electric French. <laughs> But that's a different route. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> Astro Zombie, uh, member of this channel, says, "Is there, <clears throat> if there is going to be nine cards in the campaign, make this puzzle, make this the puzzle on the back." Ooh, oh, that's, that's, an idea. that's a cool idea. idea. Yeah, it is a cool idea. Well, that's the thing that. with the destroyer tier is you don't know what's going to keep coming. Like this wasn't part of the campaign. This was just like a bonus thing, kind of thrown in. Yeah, that's uh, true. You know, so it's. This wasn't even planned anywhere in the beginning. I just came up with this one night at like 10 o'clock at night when I was sitting there watching TV. I was just like, I hit up Jason. <laughs> I was like, hey, uh, you got some free time to do, uh, which he really didn't. He squeezed it in, but I gave him like- That's awesome. To just, to just I'm going to have to hit him up. I'm going to have to hit him up and say thank you. That's awesome. A uh, really cool piece uh, is this gray wash or, or pencils. I think it's just ink. 
That's all inks. Yeah, Jason just is. I mean, he just starts fucking drawing, man. And he he did it like a little preliminary sketch. And I mean, it's rough. I'll send you that that image too of what he. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to, that yeah, image awesome. to, to that. And I was like, <clears> holy <throat> shit! And so when he sent me the sketch, though, I I had to tell somebody, man. So I I told Jeremy. <laughs> he was the only other one that did. It. I was like, hey, Jeremy, because I, I know Jeremy's a vet basket fan. So yeah, I was like, this is what I got in plan and. He was loving it, and then a couple of days later, he started. He, uh, Bascom sent me the uh, that final sketch, and I'm like, "All right, this is this is. I can't believe you went from the sketch to this. this is ridiculous." <laughs> Jasper said, uh, "Question for Sontag: Are Bat and Weems inking physical pages? They are. They are. They don't work digitally. They work traditionally. They're inking right over my original pencils. So, if anybody uh, anybody that backs the original art here is getting their work, their work. So." Uh, I think we've got four of ten that got on there sold. And otherwise, they're all going to me. I'm going to keep the rest. <laughs> uh, Sumo said they probably made it just in time for the ending. Uh, not quite yet. We, we will be ending here fairly in a little bit, in a little bit, but not, not too much. What do you got here, Rick? You got the I was just you out. See, the, when you're the number one backer, you get you get cool basketball. <laughs> That's true. You know? That is true. That's awesome. Uh, Look at that. I mean, game. yeah, it's awesome. It's really Look at that. Like I, I, Jason's a badass. I've met him twice now. I'm gonna go up and meet him again. And uh, dude, his art portfolio book is ridiculous. I've been trying to push him to uh, to do an art book. <laughs> um, like this was a, a cover that was an, actually it was gonna be a page in his book, but he back, he, you know, it didn't fit the story right, so I snatched it up. But I mean, he's just got Ooh. just stuff like, um, well, half of my art's not even on the wall because I don't have any more space. But crazy I mean, mad, so, crazy mad's claiming to to know to have known this was happening. He wishes. I don't know. Hey, I don't know. Tell Jason. Hey, Paul. Do it. hey, Paul. Tell Jason to do a book called Connerst. It's not like somebody else <laughs> ripped off that name from me. He can. Yeah. He's my boy. <laughs> uh, Hail Clayton. Good to see you, brother. We got uh, Jay Lee says, "Hey, looks like my house is wall." Yeah, yeah, you got. Oh, I can believe it, Jay Lee. You have everything. Yeah. <laughs> he has so much not, art. Yeah, not like Jay Sean's walls was. there. Look at Sean's walls. Yeah, yeah, but there's a big empty spot there for the poster. Like somebody got him, but I guess Gilby's not awesome. good enough to do it. Put on the wall. <laughs> Joe's got to go to work. That's what. Hey, Jay Lee's got some serious <laughs> stuff. Oh, there's a. You know, that's one thing. There's a bunch of good collectors in CG, man. There's some, um, like George Travelers has got a, an amazing collection. Uh, what's the dude from Smoke the Fox? Uh, Justin Belmont. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got a sick ass collection too. I'm just trying to play catch up, but I, I just know I'm ahead of uh, crazy. That's all. You know, you know who's got the we the people? You know? That is sick. Yeah. That is sick. That's crazy. Ah, uh, see, Joe, Joe hooked me up, man. I begged for Joe to get this violator piece. Oh, that is amazing. I had to bribe him and all kinds of shit, and I was like, man, you gotta, you gotta hook me up with the violator because I'm a, I'm a monster spawn guy. See, how, that's just yep. some spawn. I've got actually, I just bought some new stuff. <laughs> like, my buddy owns the flea market. He called me up. Some guy was coming in. So I got a bunch of new pieces like this. Uh, nice. We got leather face. I got a couple open ones. I got so much to, to open, man. It's Sean, unreal. You some ideas. <laughs> Very I'm not, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm one to talk. It's like hoarders back. Yeah. I have nothing organized, especially since the ceiling. <laughs> it's like well, bad. I actually just redid this the studio so it's a lot less less stuff now like on the other side there's less less stuff i don't want to move my camera but yeah i got stuff i'll, I'll put it up i'm working on me i don't even open my action figures or half of my statues i'm like the 40 year old virgin <laughs> <laughs> i came in at a weird spot <laughs> I got a, I got a few i don't open because everyone everyone opens up their stuff and i was raised like if you open it if you whatever i'll never buy you anything ever again but ah like, well, I have two loose ways to collect. You either collect the resale one day, or you collect because you want the stuff. I don't. I don't give a shit about resale. I'll, I'll die with it all in my hands. 
Hail Coleman. Good to see you. I'll let my phone deal with it. We also have Scott's Lee in the house. Hail. Good to see you guys. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, I just got back from a store in Berkeley, Michigan that has <laughs> everything, says Jasper. Everything? Blue Samurai Zero and Sumo Thori got nice size collections, too. Ooh, sounds sexual. <laughs> you know, um, Size don't matter. <laughs> this is Size an amazing doesn't... rum. I love I love Rick's rum oh, that he has. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've said before, like he needs crazy. to start a YouTube channel yes. where he just goes to his collection bit That's by bit. Every the, video uh, is, you know, Jeez, I, I feel like I can get stuff. organized. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, I'm like, I got to redo my basement. We're in the middle of doing a drywall and everything because, like, so all this entire room has to go back downstairs and. uh so I'm not, but it's you know I got all the re- all the replicator posters. Yes. See, I love posters, but everybody says make posters, and then nobody buys the fucking things. Oh. So it's like, and, and and they're hard to ship. You know, you got to if there's a little dent, somebody cries. But luckily, I mean, these came from Australia. They came in fine. I mean, if you just, you know, the Shelby, the <laughs> Shelby one. The Shelby one is definitely the best quality poster I think I've ever owned. That's, that's a badass that's, poster. Mm. I still gotta get mine framed. Yeah, uh, mine too. For for nineteen ninety nine, thank you, brother. That is not cheap at all. Zach Fernandez says the trend is fucking over. The trend is over and gone forever. <laughs> Hail independent created and own. Good night, y'all. Good night, brother. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Wait, yeah, does that Michael go to my, my, Rick, my, uh, Rick, Rick. bikini? What? My, my bikini fund? Is that part of my bikini fund? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> although the more money we get, you got to change it to a thong. You know, right, is what I'm, I'm thinking. I ain't too proud to show. We got his Wolverine. Right. Oh, look at that. Nice. Yeah. Like, I'll, yeah, I'll put these up. This dude had a stack of comics, right? And they're all just, eh, they're all right. I had most of them, but two Wolverines, man. Even though I already have them. I mean, <laughs> Rick's room looks like my wet dreams. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, speaking of spawn, I have the limited print run of Todd's 300 cover print autographed. It's number one of 500. No shit. Damn. Hell yeah, dude. Who'd you have to sleep to get that? <laughs> Jay Lee gets some good shit, dude. Like he's yeah. his collection is pretty badass, too. Well, Jay Lee's got yeah. some good stuff. I got some I got some art from Jay Lee actually. Oh yeah. Um, you want to show that a, off? I actually I don't have it here at this place. Hail it's Matt. actually at Ed's house, but I have oh, like gotcha. a, clay, a claymore piece. I posted it online a while ago. He um that he did for one of the draw streams, and I was like, I just was like, Can I buy this <laughs> off of you <laughs> it, it was amazing he definitely he definitely um was heavily inspired i would say by michael turner um and you can yeah. see it in his artwork look at the sexy booth this is the only book worth buying right now that's true in my I'll opinion that gunslinger spawn on gunslinger man yeah with the Delso Zinks, can't go. Yeah. Michael can't Green go says, "Damn, Rick, you are serious. I can't wait to have a room like this. Need a bigger house first. <laughs> well, you know, what's sad is this room started off before CG is just a bedroom. I had a bed, like a normal bedroom. You know, that's the only remnants of a bedroom that exists. <laughs> what kind of knife is that on there? <laughs> like, what kind of knife is that? <laughs> oh, what's that? Yeah. yeah, holy shit. Yeah, what? I'm a knife this person. Is... I like knives. Don't get this drunk. <laughs> This is the best knife. You want a knife? Yes. You go down to a knife works. I've had this since I was 16 years old. I don't know if we can pull off pull knives off on, oh, on YouTube. Can, can we? you? We'll find out. I don't know. I, don't know. That. Oh, yeah. I, gun pulled, gun. A, I pulled a machete out on Death Curse because I have you? a machete right, and an axe. We might be good. From Home I got, I, got, I got a Rambo knife as my doorstop. Well, Dude, I'll beat the living fuck out of this knife, and it's never been sharpened, and this thing will cut you to the bone. <laughs> oh my god guys real quick we have 50 people watching or 50 people in the chat if you haven't please smash that like hit the subscribe button share us on social media back reaper destroyer and type one and speaking of reaper destroyer let me bring this up real quick i just want to point out what are, we, what are you at now what's that 45 uh with the, i have to refresh this uh we are sitting at 650 backers uh 44 225 so I wanted to say a big shout out to everybody that got to. I like nice round numbers. You know, I was looking to get to that 650. 15 days left. So I'm going to take a shot for the chat, for shots. the backers. Shots. That real quick. Oh, that's interesting, Jay Lee. 
Oh, it's there. Ah. I actually don't take much from Michael Turner due to I was taught uh, Natty by Jim Lee back in the in '88, so I'm more influenced by Jim Lee than Michael. Nice. Oh. Knife Club for life. All I can think about is knife party now by the Deftones. Ooh. Go get your knife. Go get okay, your Phil knife. said we can show knives, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, it's all the matters. Uh, doing nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, YouTube's weird. Hey, Andrew, turn, Andrew good turn, brother. <laughs> all right, so this is to you guys. Thank you for helping me uh, hit 650 backers on this campaign. We have 15 days left. Uh, this awesome. is a knife. Uh, that that is a knife. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was gonna I was gonna start off with a little pocket knife because everybody's got some fucking you know box cutter knives, and I'm like, no, nah, let me get my knife out and pull this thing out and open up my freaking CG boxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was just about you to say I'm gonna, pull out, I'm gonna have to pull out my swords here. I mean, we're we're measuring doing yeah, measuring yeah, stick. Okay. No, but this is literally my she was bigger. No. I have a machete, but I haven't opened it. It's literally oh, supposed shit. to go on my car. It's literally sitting like right there in the darkness. In your car, oh. in the yard. The car. That's serious. <laughs> no, my my dad literally he hit me up. He's like, I'm at Home Depot and they have zombie supply. And I'm like, oh, what do they got? He they like they got axes and machetes. I'm like, can he's like, yeah. you want one? Yes, I want both. Yes. He's like, He's like, well, what do you think is going to be more versatile? I said, probably the axe. So yeah. he ended up getting me both. So <laughs> it's just... the girt of the sword that counts, says Mike. <laughs> and I... <laughs> That's the river I spread. So it has to be a broadsword. <laughs> yeah. Jay Lee says, Joe, I sent you the cover of my new book. You want me to bring it up? I'll do it. Nice. What you need is this machete right here. Oh, there you go. I tell you what, Irwin. Nice. Irwin. You go get an S wing, and this thing is a beast. Uh, crazy man, I have a Louisville Slugger too, actually. I'm always thinking like I got to go into survival mode at some point. You know, we got COVID instead of the zombie apocalypse. Kind of mm. sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it was <True>. funny. <laughs> In a way, yes, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Jay Lee, where are you? Let me find you. Oh shit, I got a ton of messages out here, don't I? Well, normally I just carry a knife to cut things open, but I usually carry guns. <laughs> I got this hookah. Guns work. <laughs> I love the hookah. You know this what I actually, want? This is actually Bruce's mother, so it's a fairly heirloom. I got to clean it up, maybe smoke out of it. But she had emphysema, so I don't think I want to do that. But it's very yeah, pretty. maybe not. You can't catch emphysema from emphysema. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Now you sound like me. Oh, there you are, Jaylee. I got you now. Yeah, if you want to bring it up. Done, but the slides are good. Okay, go for it. Cool. I'll bring it up here in a second. <laughs> uh, we got all this in the house. Hail. Hail, brother. Awesome. You know what I want, though? I want a sickle. I oh, yes. I want a friggin' sickle. That's what I want. I always, I always thought there needs to be some really cool character designs with like a kopesh or a sickle or or something, just so badass. Yeah, they look cool. Oh, nice! This yeah. is Jay Lee's cover to uh to the Steins Three. Nice. This is awesome, man. And I'm pretty sure yeah. this is so colored by uh, Gabe Al Taib as well. Very good, awesome. Yeah, awesome teams look great. Yeah, When's nice this uh, coming out? Uh, no, Jay I'm Lee. not. I'm just tired. <laughs> I, worked, I worked 16 hours. Oh, I shit. Damn. It's like six, five. You got hours. emphysema from smoking uh, the puff puff pass. That's true. I need a smoke. Am I, am I no, this, is, uh, this is great stuff, Jaylee. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. How do these three comics nerds get a girl on the panel? It's all, about, it's all about being smooth and suave. I it's wanted the, to come on here. I would have harassed them oh. at some point. <laughs> <laughs> See, we didn't even ask. The show is awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. yeah it's awesome, Julie. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate it. There goes um, the uh, death curse. Man. She got a good show. Oh, thank you. I miss it. I miss it a lot just because you guys are on. But usually when I'm working, but and I don't get YouTube notifications anymore, so I got to scroll through my list. And just oh, start weird. pressing on people, you know, it's, it's annoying. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. I appreciate uh, that, though. Phil yeah, says, Kayla, I got a badass character with a, a sickle, a scythe, a <laughs> coming scythe. down the line. Scythe. Yeah. You Phil, you already know. As soon as I can afford an artist, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, hold on a second. I'm there. playing Knifey Spoonie. <laughs> Well, what? Who's what playing is, what? What? Michael. What is knifey spoony? That I sounds love... like some kind of sexual <laughs> thing. I think someone's was... getting poked like spooning style, in man. bed. That's <laughs> why he's my know. favorite Aussie over over Rob. But don't tell Rob. Okay, I just wrenched some new people. Uh, Sumo, I didn't realize you weren't wrenched on my channel. I apologize. Oh God, Jasper's making a joke. Let's all laugh. What's he making? What's he saying? What's ha, he ha, 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 ha. She said this show is awesome. Sorry, man. <clears throat> That's because she's got good taste, Jasper. Yeah. Thanks I for coming, Jasper. You got great taste. Is I, what do. She's I, saying. Have, I do. I have amazing taste, especially when it comes to comic book stuff. Hell, mm. hell yeah. Mm. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, look, at, look at the hat she's wearing. I mean, yeah, come on. Come on. I just, shit. I do some running on E. So it's like throw a hat on <laughs> if you look like shit. That's how I go. <laughs> <laughs> now you look great. You look great. Uh, all this says Bancroft is here. <laughs> uh, how does uh, the spoon ever win? Hmm. What is it? I need to like this is above my head and this is driving me crazy. Mm. What mm. is this knifey spoon? What the what the hell is this? I get it. Don't explain I get it. this to I get me. It. I get Am it. I missing I it? it or was I right? Yes. Was this some kind of sex sex? Well, thing? The way I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> It's always a sex thing, in my mind. In my mind. <laughs> Kayla should be a regular on here. This show was a great vibe tonight. She is welcome anytime she wants to be on the show. We've been trying to get her on. It's a scheduling thing, but she is welcome anytime she wants oh, to be I here. Thought you she's said I'm not wheelchair show this off, guys. Oh, yeah. So this is what we're going to do. In the f Hold that back up for a second. But I have a glare because I don't have an official camera here. It's okay. right. I just want to show people what we're going to be doing. We are going to have Kayla back on here. We're going to be looking at uh, some Arthur Adams stuff here yeah. in the future when we get a better setup because there's look, some so fantastic Adam's stuff. Ah, it's going to look yeah, some art. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous art right there. Look at that. I'm a Beautiful. huge uh, Adams fan. I actually, I actually met him. And I fucking cried. I'm not even ashamed. I, I literally, he was like, what the hell? And it was so bad. I was working a con. I was dressed as Bulma. They're like, yeah, bring your uh, Adam stuff. Uh, and they were like, surprised me, brought me over to him. And I, I literally cried. He was like signing Ultimate X. And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> all right, Adams, I love you. You're my favorite artist. And That's I'm like awesome. dressed as Bulma. I have a picture. And yeah. it's like, he, he, I, I'll have to post it online. But he's like. <laughs> like he's signing he literally signed like uh 35 books i brought he oh was, shit and i talked That's to him forever but i just was like just meeting him I, i've never even cried never cried meeting anyone before <laughs> <laughs> and i'm crying to Art Adam. Awesome. in a boma That's costume at that <laughs> that's a great story i like that <laughs> uh bancroft says when someone pulls a knife on you you say that's <laughs> That's not a knife. This is a knife. And then pull out a spoon. Yes. <laughs> that is how you deal. That's how you deal. I was way off. That's I guess, you know what, though? Who moves faster? I guess, you know, someone could definitely totally, like, scoop your eyeball out with the spoon if they were fast enough and strong enough to get to you first. But why a spoon, cousin? Why not a I, knife? Because yeah. <laughs> it's dull it will hurt more you twit. That's the line that's supposed to come back when I say that. Did anybody see Robin Hood? Kevin Costner. Tights? Tights? Oh yeah, no. I have that. Oh. I, I was Prince of Robin Thieves, Hood. man. Prince of Thieves. <laughs> Aunt Adams, that's right. Where the hell are we gonna uh, look Lobo? at that Lobo? When are we gonna do some Lobo? I mean, well, I mean, come on, man. I have I got Lobo train, dude. I'm, I got a stack of extra Lobos. I'm gonna. I have you. one Lobo book. Yeah, I got like twenty. <laughs> I'm gonna send you that way we can get filled okay. with. Okay. I mean, dude. Uh, hey, I'm going for That's a awesome. cigarette. I'll be back. <clears throat> All right, got comic book Bob in the house. He says can't go wrong with art and of textures. Hell yeah. Yes. Max Santiago's 
Santiago it says, I bought some Walt Simonson and Art Adams new Fantastic Four reprints is badass. Mm, the the only like I will literally buy an Art <laughs> Adams book now, even if it's a book I don't want to read just because he did the cover. Mm. That's it. I, I'll you've just got, buy for his cover. <laughs> you got Jay Ryan intrigued with your your Balma costume. It says oh, Balma costume. Well, it there. wasn't anything special. I just mm. I had to work a con. It was a kid's day, and I won his Namekian and Bulma. Oh. For the kids, I wasn't there dressed. You know, I'm not a cosplayer. That, like, ah. I am not a cosplayer. Mm. Dashing the dreams. People are thrown off by the spoon. They think you're crazy. That's a good point. We got Jamie East in the house. Hail, Jamie. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see yes, you Phil too. is excited. The Phil boner has started with the Lobo. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Phil just coomed. That's what I was saying. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, if no. you don't like, if you don't like Lobo, you're gay. It's that simple. Lobo cop. <laughs> I've got the paramilitary military Christmas special. That's the only only Lobo book I really have. Hail Corey. Corey Barton. So, here we go. Job here we go, Son of a ball. mother. Here's a stack, bro. I'm gonna send him the stack. I wonder how many books do you have? I'm curious. I have a lot of books. I'm just uh, curious. I really got a lot. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only got like seven long boxes and four short boxes. Well, and then that's not including what's on my on my stand. Yeah, I got like I get st <laughs> stacks. I got a lot of long. I can't even count, and I haven't even put everything in boxes. I have things in, you know, like the giant bins. But I was working at a comic shop, so it was like, oh, uh, okay. Oh, store credit, buy it. Oh, there you go. I couldn't even work in a shop because I'd never get paid. Well, he I think he was from Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Michael says you talk like JFK. Like that. <laughs> so There's bad. nothing to fear. I can't do it. <laughs> I used to be able I used to be able to do a, a JFK uh impersonation. I can't do it anymore. I had to work on it. I have the 99 cents Lobo uh with Simon Beasley art. Ooh, I'll Ooh, John now. Joe, I'll send Lobo Simpson in my chat uh, tonight. So, right, I love I the bees. Love it. Have you ever done Ooh. Simon Bisley's Bible mm -mm. on here? Oh my god! Well, if we're gonna do anything Simon Bisley related, I would definitely have Phil be Phil on. <clears throat> he would he would be the guy to bring on. I'd just be like, show us all your art. And that's, that's what the show would be. Just him, uh, two hours going through everything he's got. I have a lot of business. So. Well, we'll have you on too. Then we'll do a we'll do a dual show with both you guys, and I'll just sit back and uh, take the night off. That'd be fun. Thirty long boxes, three box, thirty long boxes, three boxes, all autographed books. Holy shit! That's about what my my dad has. My dad has twenty seven long boxes, and we scanned them all in. It was crazy. Nice. <clears throat> Rick is popping. All right, I need Sean to get back here because we're gonna end the show here. Pretty soon. I don't Wait, where did Sean go? He went to smoke. Oh, <laughs> like, come on, dude! Look, what, look what time it is. Like, come on now, come on. Too soon? Maybe a little too soon. You know, like what? How, when was it? 60, 40 years? Fifty years? I think what we're all going having. On, Rick? You know what? Holy we're all God. having camera problems tonight. Except I don't have an actual camera. It's just a uh, my camera's box and a laptop camera. camera. <laughs> You ever said Rick has the coolest shit in the world? That is absolutely yeah. one thousand percent true. Here you go, Joe. I'll send you this stack of Lobos. Okay, do it. <laughs> Let's do it. I got a lot. Need <laughs> some uh, more things out there. I love it. We need to get Reaper Destroyer up to six hundred and sixty-six backers. Let's do it. Let's not stop there. Let's go to a thousand. Fifty k. Let's go to two thousand. Let's go to eight million. This yeah. your campaign deserves fifty k minimum. I appreciate oh, that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bob says, come on, Joe. You've got to have Beasley, Batman, Judge Dredd at least. I do not. I do really? Not. What I about Ninja, have, do you have any of the Ninja Turtles stuff? I do got no. some turtles. Oh, he did an yeah. awesome Raphael yeah. series. I don't have a lot of uh, Beasley work, uh, period, to be honest with you. No. Not that I dislike his art. Just what should, should i should i bring up my story from yesterday of how i lost my cable the cut through the past the bullshit with the neighbor part because i was kind of dying <laughs> sure if you want to but then we're going to end the stream here pretty soon so is that right. long story <laughs> short lost my cable yesterday around noon didn't get it back till about one today we thought it was all this bullshit you know i'm plugging whatever whatever schedule appointment for today 
Then about seven o'clock at night, one of my neighbors came. She's partially deaf and has kind of a speech impediment from it. Mm. So she's knocking on the window. She's like, you... I'm going to house. She's like, do you have a <laughs> do you have a do you have files for why this? What the fuck? I don't even know what you're saying, <laughs> You got a file for yeah, why this? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, the power way out. I'm like, I know. She's like, they cut the lines. You got cold. <laughs> Expedite. <laughs> I'm going to hell. <laughs> it was just a one <laughs> Dude, Then I text Joe. I'm like, she has. All this says, spit it out, dude. <laughs> Do you have a wide these files? <laughs> Stop like, doing the accent. Just tell us what's up. Oh, you can't get through it. <laughs> she said, Do you have files for eyes? And. They, the, they one of the they're building a house and they cut the, the power line, so call an expedite. Uh, <laughs> I'm exhausted. I need bed. <laughs> uh, good show, guys. Other than the story uh, of the end by Sean, uh, die over come here. on, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Sean, we're gonna set up that Robin costume fund. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think we'll be going in the Robin costume. I want to see him in a Boy Scout costume. Oh, gee. He was in the Boy Scout. <laughs> I still have he's, it. He's just got, yeah, he's just got to find his old Boy Scout costume. It'll what be like the Incredible Hawk ripping out of it. Oh, I'm telling God. the story is funnier than the story. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't get it. He couldn't get past the first sentence. Yeah. Sean, you're still my best friend, even after that. Aw. Wow. Real wow. friendship. Look at you. that. Okay, got to run you off. Great night. See you, Jay Lee. Good to see you. Yes. Uh, Fondle the like button on your way out and slap that subscribe. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. All good things must come to an end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking for me in the Boy Scout picture. Don't Hold forget on. about Robin Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going yeah, to literally Robin, tweet Robin. that out. <laughs> tomorrow with this with oh, shit. uh phil says come hang with us in an hour closing out cg vacation maybe sooner oh shit watch out now don't miss the entry stream for the 1k subscriber giveaway live this saturday july 2nd at 10 p.m eastern make sure everybody's in jeremy's chat for that you do not want to miss that all you have to do is be in the chat on the second and comment and you are entered into the drawing that they will be doing the next week i believe on the ninth ninth or eighth something like that whatever that saturday is uh don't miss that guys it's going to be absolutely amazing uh all right uh i just sent you it send me what the picture well, today uh, today was the show you had to enter right or was it what am i bringing this up for because i was in the cup scouts oh yeah, yeah, yeah. all right we're gonna screw we're gonna share this real quick and then am i supposed to we'll say... pl plug my interview tomorrow Yes, shamelessly plug whatever you got. <laughs> On oh, Death Curse at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'll be live with Chimera. So, Oh, nice. Oh, Come Chimera will be on. Nice. Yes. yes. Talk about Testament and more. Hail Steve Worcester. Bow. Yeah. We have a girl dressed here as Thank you, Angela. Katie Perry. Nice to you. She was mm. something. <laughs> <laughs> she was nice. I don't know. <laughs> She got some cupcakes. She was sweet. Uh, good night, Coleman. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I'm too high to sleep. That's always good. That's good. What's it's your the, channel, Kayla? The Death <clears throat> Curse channel, Bancroft. So, like Spencer Desmond from Alterna, he runs Death Curse. So, I'm on his um, squad. He's one of my good friends, and I've been working with him for years now. So, it's just Death Curse. And my segment's either on Wednesdays or Thursdays around 9 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. Great show. Again, I had a lot of fun on it. Cream pie. She's okay. Eh, she's okay. She was fine. Yeah. She was Night, fun. <laughs> 40 years. Taste for yourself. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining us, guys. Again, Jason Bashman did an awesome piece of art for us for the campaign. We will yeah. be using that for uh something in the future i'm not quite sure exactly what it's going to be yet but um it get looks it back beautiful. to campaign to get it yep back to campaign you might be, be able to win the original art if you back one of the destroyer tiers if we get to 60 sold by the time we we're done with this campaign <laughs> that katie perry girl is cool i guess but does she pronounce car as ka oh, she she's saying god, god. god. Oh. Later. later jay oh. 
<laughs> Cheers, just sub. Awesome, awesome. You got a new sub there. Thank you, Kayla. Bancroft. I appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, she definitely... your house conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I take that. I take that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, chicks with whipped uh, cream boobs. What's not to like? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Phil's a hater. Uh, praise to be on the bonk. Yeah, do it. Do it. All right, guys, we're going to jump out of here. Thank you for joining us tonight. It was a fun night. Kayla, thank you for coming on. You're welcome here anytime. Thank you for and we're having gonna me. We're going to have you on again. You're welcome. We're going to have you on again and look at some awesome Arthur Adams art. Arthur sure. Adams. Hell yeah. I'll be back like the Terminator with that. <laughs> <laughs> I will be back. All right, I'll everyone. Be back. <laughs> Where is my outro? Oh, there I am. All right, everyone, have a great night. We'll talk to you all later. Peace oh, out. Yeah. <clears throat> We will be back. And ladies. Uh, no show tomorrow <laughs> night. No show tomorrow night. We're taking tomorrow off. But we will be back Friday for Ott and Stuff over in the Ott and Stuff channel. Please be follow nice. us there and check it out. We will have Shadow Punk and we will have B Rose on as well talking about their stuff. It's going to be fun. Nine o'clock Friday. <clears throat> be good to each other. And as always, picture me naked. Talk to you all later. Peace. <laughs>